want to first say all praises and glory and honor is due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Dash. All right, we out here another Saturday. All right, we're starting a little late, you know, but you know how it goes. We, we out here. So, if the Spirit's on Elder Tyler, that's by the Spirit. I'll give him a seat. Just ready to turn. So, I'm a, so I'm a, what I'm going to open up with is me and, well, call, call it already for you. Me, uh, uh, Isaiah 10. Turn. Uh, started the first verse. Gotcha. Before we started, me and Bishop and Nakazak were talking. You know, talking about property and stuff like that. And um, he's privy to people that are in that world. And they dropped a couple jewels on him and gave him some information. So the whole thing, you know, that the feds is talking about that they're raising the interest rate. Now the interest rate is going to go up to like 6%. You know, in other words, if you're borrowing to get a home, right? You're borrowing to get some property. But the thing about it is, the interest rates are only going up on those houses that are like 170,000, 250, 300,000. Now the, the homes that cost like 700,000 and up, their rates are not being affected. So it's, in other words, who's being targeted? The middle class, the poor, the poor and, the middle and, 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 and that lower middle class. Yeah, well, they want to do away, a part of their plan is to do away with the middle class altogether. Right. That's right. why they got rid of the mom and pop shops on Main Street. Right. Everything is big business, they, 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 your Walmarts and your, your you know, Costco, your Costco's, Costco's, yeah, yeah. So the big box stores. What, what they did was they, just, they destroyed all the, all the big little businesses to where everybody has to depend on that one business. Right, and if something happens to that one business, you all get fucked, just like what happened with the baby formula shit. Right, all right. So I mean, it's all by design. This man is almost out of here. The scripture says, "What? Satan is a roaring lion." Right. All right. It's, it, 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 hey, his horn. We've been warning you, and his horns are up. Yep. So back to the elder. Right. So basically, that's what these that's what these devils are doing. Those rates that are going up is affecting if you're you're trying to get up a down payment, like you're a first time buyer. You're trying to get up a I don't know, ten to twenty thousand dollars for a down payment, and you're trying to, you know, try to get something, because the the way that the rents they're increasing rents on people, even here in Connecticut where we live, the whole country, the, well the whole country's going through it, but right here where we're at, you got these landlords that they they, jack, they want to jack the rent up, not another seventy five dollars or a hundred dollars or one fifty a month, you're talking six eight hundred dollars a month increase. From whatever you're paying right now, well, look at look at New York. The United mm -hmm. say the average, the lowest rent now in the city of New York is two thousand dollars. So it's two thousand dollars enough to live in a rat trap. Yeah, a rat trap. But it's done by design. Yep. Then you watch the news, you see Jake. What, what are we gonna do? And we, you can see you Negroes and you Hispanics out there. You cannot say you haven't been warned by the prophets of the Lord. That's right. That the time of trouble is coming, and Jacob's trouble. You're about to feel it. I just saw on the news the other day they built a new a new skyscraper rent um, in Brooklyn, damn near almost as tall as the, the New World Trade Center building. Right. In Brooklyn, Brooklyn ain't known for having no damn skyscrapers. Right. But they put that skyscraper there. It's a residential skyscraper. Mm -hmm. And it said the fact that they put that up there is going to drive all the surrounding neighborhoods. Their rents are going to go sky high. Right. And you got Jake on the news talking about well, what about us? Nigga, you didn't know that Esau, the so-called white man, ain't your friend. Yeah, he ain't your, he ain't your friend. Scripture says, trust not thy, see, you trust whitey. You hate yeah. your brother, you trust white. It's like, here, we get the scripture. Yeah. So I'm going to read the scripture here, brother. Um, this is uh, Isaiah 10 and 1, when it comes back, when it boots back up. It says, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Right. Woe unto you that decree unrighteous decrees. And that is a unrighteous decree, what you devils are doing. And and make no mistake, the people who are the landowners, the majority landowners throughout the United States, are you so-called Jews, you small hats. I'm just saying it just like that. You're the landowners. Even here in the town where we live, a lot of those uh, New York, um, a lot of those New York uh, agencies that, that uh, or the property owners, They've been making a, a killing in New York. They're coming up buying land here in Connecticut, and then they're driving the price up six, seven, eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars a month on the rent, on the people that's already living in the units. Or they're giving you uh, maybe I think ninety days you get to find a place and get out. But the rental hike is going to go into effect, and you're the ones that's doing it. You small hats, right? You're the devil. You're the devil. Emily, I got the definition of the word decree. Decree. 
an official order issued by a legal authority. Right, an official order issued by a legal authority. So these uh, these these uh, landowners, these property owners, which the ones who, who make the big money off of these off of owning property and, and rental properties is the small hats. All right, the okay. big nose people. That's right. right. And you're the ones that's driving up the price. And and the, like the script, the script was going to say to take away the the core of my people. Yeah, but read it over. That's what it is. Read it again from the top, Isaiah. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. You getting paid your money. You're you're being compensated your money for for the unit that you for the for the place that you own. And even the C19, which you devils are the ones that put shit out there in the first place. All the people who had um weren't paying their rent during that time. The, the government so-called allotted money to the side, and a lot of you landlords were compensated for, for what you lost during that time period. A lot of you landlords got paid got paid the back rent, and you still evicted the people that were in those units, even though you got paid the back rent. So you got paid the back rent. The government paid you that back rent for six, seven, eight, or nine months, not receiving no, no money. You got that back rent. But then you still evicted the people out anyway. Go ahead. To turn aside the needy from judgment. Right, to turn aside the needy from judgment. And who's the needy? The 12 tribes of Israel. We, 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 not, we don't give a damn about anybody else. Nobody else out there don't give a damn about us. And there's no reason in hell for us to give a good goddamn about anybody else but ourselves. And that's the problem with you Negroes, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, Haitians, Dominicans. You're... you're your fucking problem is you fucking care about everybody else except yourself. Everybody else cares about themselves. Everybody else practices uh, what you call um, when it comes to economics, they keep their money circulating among themselves. Yeah. You the only motherfuckers that you you support everybody else except for yourself. It's a part of the curses. It, well, it, again, like uh, Bishop Desiree said, it's a part of the curses. Which that right there is boom proof. That we are the people that the Bible's speaking about. Oh, I saw it in the news the other day. Um, the, it was something to do with the government giving money to, to like uh, minority women, single mothers and shit, right? To have money put away for their kids and shit, right? So that they interviewed this black woman and she made a statement. She says, "Well, at least I have something to leave to my 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 kids, and I'll get out of this cycle of this this cursed cycle." So they take note that they ain't a curse. Oh, they know. It is. It is. It is. It's but see, and that's because why? You trust in the damn devil. That's right. That's yep. why the Lord is going to kill you niggas. Because not too long ago, all these niggas was talking about this Juneteenth shit, right? Right. Oh, Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Hey, celebration that's just, that's just time. Just, that's just Juneteenth. So Come on. Right? That's just so <laughs> but you niggas are so stupid. Yeah. Because first of all, <coughs> slavery did not, did not end in no fucking June. <laughs> June uh, 19th, with what, uh, 1865 or 63. It was 1863, but 1865 when it got to right. Gaveston, Texas. Right. 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 right? So, but then what happened right after that, when we supposedly got some equality, supposedly, right, were emancipated or free, what did they do? Because that's when they said, that's what the, the famous, the infamous 40 acres and two mules came right. about. Right. Right. From after that. Dred Scott. Right. Or, or, or even even beyond that, they started it back then. But then um, I forgot the devil that came in the power because they, they passed it. It was uh, Article 15, right? Mm -hmm. For 40 acres and two mules, they, which would have been about they say they estimate that to be like three. Uh, what was it? 30 football fields put together. That's some motherfucking land. That's a lot right? of acres. One acre right? is a lot of land. One yeah, acre is yeah. a lot of land. 40 but, acres and two But they, they they came back and <laughs> overturned that. They said no, you niggas cannot possess no no land like that. All right, and you're not you're not eligible for certain credit. So that's why that whole the whole real estate thing been fixed going from all the way back then. So did they really? Why are you happy over June uh, uh, 19th? They, they right. didn't free you. They put no. you in. A, you, in a, you live in the ghetto. They put you in. They, they lied. They played around with you. Which is they dangled the thought <laughs> of you being free in front of you and snatched it right away and exactly. made you bugged out. Nick. So now, 2022, we're in, we're in that quagmire like the, the bitch was going into how. They got everything set up with the, the, the bankers. They raising the, the uh, interest rates and everything. And then guess what else they doing, right? With this COVID bullshit that they rocked everybody to sleep, right? right? They passed the uh, rent moratoriums and all that stuff, right? right. 
Now all that shit's over with, man. Now this was um, in, in Albany, like about a, a few hours ago, right? Uh, let's bring this out real quick. It's on right what you're going no, into. No, 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 go. This is, it says, uh, uh, Albany's good cause eviction law overturned. See? It overturned it. It said, Albany, uh, it said uh, state Supreme Court overturned Albany's good cause eviction law on Thursday, citing that the law improperly attempts to regulate rental rates and tenants evictions at a local level already established by state law. Albany was the first municipality in New York to pass a law which created the protection for the tenants. Right. So that's why now those rates, because that, that law is being uh, overturned in all that's these right. states. Right. right, now you gotta pay them. So rent. now you gotta pay all that, that excess uh, hype oh. and, and the rent hype. Oh. It was that old hip hop song, kick up that money, ho. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They care as well. Yeah, yeah. People yeah, went to, yeah. to the government. Yeah. And they yeah. just kick up that money. Kick up that money. And, so. hey, and as we've been going with uh -huh. uh, Jeremiah, <laughs> Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, kick up that money, Jacob's oh. trouble. Yep. Yeah. 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 You got other Israelite groups here is bringing mm -hmm. that out. That's in the scriptures. And they make jokes about it. Yeah. But now people are seeing that there ain't no joke. This is only the. This is only the scratching of the throat period we in right now. Yeah. Yeah. Us when shit really good gets hot and heavy out here, man. Yeah. So what do you, so um, you got more, bro? I got a few steps after you. you know, okay, okay, I'm finished. So I'm going to go through here again. It took time. I just read through. You know, it says, woe unto them. This is um, Isaiah 10 and 1. Mm -hmm. I'm going to top again. Chick-fil-A shit. Get off my damn phone. <laughs> it says, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Go ahead. And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. And right grievousness which they have prescribed. Now, Bishop Benatasag was talking about grievousness that New York was prescribing, right? So these devils, they're prescribing what? To raise the interest rates, but the kicker is, like me and him were talking earlier, they're raising it on the homes that that cost 175,000, 200,000, 300,000, maybe even 400,000 to purchase. The work, the work, basically, the working man, the working, working class. man can afford. The right. working class, you know, the people collar. that, the blue collar motherfuckers, they're buying houses that's already overpriced anyway, right. and it, 250 to 450 range, right? <clears throat> so now those are going to go up, and then their, their ability to uh, get a loan, like whereas before they might have been approved for a 350, $350 thousand house, right. which is really still probably worth like 175,000. Yeah, right. But now they can't even afford that. They're going to have to go look for a loan for a 250 thousand dollar house, which is probably only worth 75 thousand, 200. You know. But now, and, and, and with, with the elders going into, and all of that that's happening, they know the main people that that's targeting. There's a lot of niggas that went to school or college and working, right? Right. But now the houses that are uh, in the, you know, going to the million, 750, quarter, three quarter million. Over a half a million. Three, three quarter million, million uh, 1.5, 2.5. Right. Those houses, they, they rate stayed the same. So the whole thing is a system. This is grievousness that the scriptures is talking about. Right. This is design. This is just further of the hell that is coming down upon people. See, people, a lot of people are gonna get fucked up. And I can't say that enough. I love saying That's it because right. we see it happening, man. That's right. They about to come down a lot and see, and people don't pay attention until they ain't got nothing to eat. Right. Their lights get shut off, the, the, the power goes out, right? Yep. The water's cut off. Then then they got your attention. Right. And those are the Things that you about to face, man. You about to face the food shortage. Yep. Right. The scriptures speak about that, right? The famine. Yeah. Yep. Different uh, the famines. famines. Yep. Right. That's gonna fuck people up. It's fucking people up now. Yeah. You gonna see people doing shit that they said they never would do. That's right. You know, for a fucking piece of bread. Yeah. Well, what would you, you know? For, what would you do for a Klondike bar? That's yeah. Right. What would yeah. you do for a Klondike bar? Yeah. Where is that? And, oh man, you fucking. I mean, I ain't yeah. gonna. I'm gonna try not to go there, but y'all know what I'm about to I say. Know what you're about yeah. to say. You motherfucking bitches are gonna feel it, man. That's right. You yeah. women are gonna be in a fucked up situation, man. That's right. Rise up, you women that have ease, ease, man. Ease time is over. Because you were the ones that was feast. You had niggas feasting too, mm -hmm. but these women, they were the ones that was because it was. Created that way. That's right. All right, and they were sitting there loving. They still in the little. Some of them still, you know, a bit of reaping the benefits. But it's about to get so ugly out here, man. Well, that benefits package is leaving. The floor it's leaving, the man. The floor is about to drop from, yeah. from beneath you. And we see, we've been seeing it, man. That's right. And we knew that these days were coming. Please ask you the twelfth chapter. That's right. Yeah. Right. Go ahead, go ahead brother. Cut. It says to turn aside the needy from judgment. Right. These guys don't give a fuck about you anyway, <coughs> man. Don't care. See, a lot of y'all thought that, you know, like the, the, chief, the chick said, well, at least I have some something to leave behind. 
No, it, first of all, he's only going to be taking care of your ass. That's no right. more, man. That's it's right. a joke. It's a joke. He did, he did that. Just like with the um, the rent thing, they got people uh, uh, used to the government taking care of more. You can file right. for the triple P. That's the whole thing. Right. You can file for this, rent, this, that, and the That's third. The plan. So now when they pull all these programs from underneath you, you ain't got nothing, a leg to stand on. That's right. Nope. You get a fish out of water. And they already cornered the market because you got some Jake's trying to wake up, but we're going to start planting our own crops in front. It's too late for all that. Cause guess it's what? Too late. They done cornered the market on that. Yeah. Bill Snakes own all the farm, damn near all the farmland in America. All right, and you know what they're pushing and producing in there? That's right. Nothing but GMO type products. That's right. That are designed to break you down and fuck you up, man. That's okay, right. it's not a coincidence that everybody in America got obesity, which it goes into the cur curses. But the scriptures tell you when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. The people mourn. Why are they mourning? Because why? They got everybody got diseases. Everybody's uh, the sugar, right? Everybody got the sugars. Everybody got to watch their sugar, right? Everybody got to watch what they eat. I just found out, I didn't even know that they did this now. Now they're regulating, you know, the, the child care or daycare, whatever you call it, when they watch people's kids and yeah, stuff. Yeah. They got to get licensed for that stuff and everything, right? Right. So now they got to do a nutritional program. Now they got to uh, ration out when they, when they got kids. They got to ration out the portions. Uh, they're going to give them certain things. They're going to give them like 10 grapes. Uh, uh, you know, they give them as much straw. Yeah, there's a whole, because, why do they got to do all of that? Yeah. Because why? The, the, the elites. They systematically fuck up the people, fuck the kids. That's why these kids are all fucked up, retarded, mm -hmm. Asperger's, ADD, you name it. They got all this. This was all genetically uh, engineered by the government that y'all trusted. Yeah. And we told y'all. So you know what? It's good for y'all, man. Yeah. See, and, and don't worry about us, man, because why? By us trusting in the Lord, you're going to see the benefits, man. All right? We're said, not going to be ashamed. The Lord's going to hold us down, man. The Lord said you shall... You, you shall you eat. You shall eat, and they yeah. they they you shall be hunger. You gonna be hungry. He said you shall uh, yeah, rejoice, right. and they yeah. You, you shall eat, so yeah. you shall be hungry. Yeah. Yeah. So look, we we got it's a price to, that for us doing this. It is a reward. All right, you brothers that that stood stiffly, that's out here laboring in this truth through all throughout all this stuff, not getting caught up by the hype, by the demons, by the by the hell. A lot of y'all got tired of suffering. All right, a lot of y'all are just. Wait, y'all gonna take the, the you know what, the MOTB as soon as they put it out there, man. And then now let's talk about this other this um what uh what's the fuck was his title? He's basically an investor, but he's also an appraiser, right? So he was he was sitting there telling me, you know, that, you know, because he got he was telling me he got all these inside sources, which they do. They this is their world. Yeah, this is their game. Right? The children fix, fix what's that, the, uh, the children are uh, uh, wiser than the children of light, light right? And, and it, in this generation, right. yeah, they are. They got all the inside school. Everything we get, we get through the spirit of the Lord. Yep. The spirit of the Lord have brothers researching and find things, but they got the inside connections to the people that got that's connected to the people running shit. Right, the movers and the shakers. <laughs> the movers and the shakers. <coughs> but um, the point is, he was uh, man, I, I forgot the point. I, the point on um, you're saying he's an insider. He was uh, he's an appraiser and uh. uh he got inside information from those people on. Yeah. Guess what? With the uh, with, the, with the prices, with the interest rates going up and all with, that. With the interest rates, man, I forgot. It's locked, man. I, I lost it. Was it was uh, Lord willing, it, it'll come, it'll come back. But it, oh yeah, that's what he said. Dealing with the, the chip, basically, he's speaking about the chip. He said, he said, look, man. He said, he said, really, I think that they're just trying to just bring in the, the uh, digital currency. And I'm like, no, 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 like, no, yeah, no, no shit. Sherlock. Which basically the digital currency, right? Which is uh, what? That's the, that's gonna lead into the, the to the chips, man. That's right. All right, to the chip, the, the charisma, man. You see, and a lot of you people, because you don't got faith, you don't believe in, in the truth, you ain't believed in the Lord, and the Lord ain't dealing with you, motherfuckers, man. For you to really see this, for you to see this truth and understand, and, and able to be active in the truth. The Lord got to be working with you, man. So all of y'all that don't see this and are not a part of this, the Lord is not working with you, man. We've been telling y'all that. What? Because you, you you call yourself a Christian? You in Christianity? Right. You thought that meant that the Most High was with your black stupid ass? Yeah. Huh? What, what they doing in Christian churches, man? What's going on up yeah, in here? Nothing but do the goddamn chicken stomp dance, foam at, foam at the mouth, women doing back from showing their panties. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dirty. dirty. 
Dutty panties. Dutty, <laughs> dutty panties catching catching up the holy demon and a ton of adultery. A ton, and a ton of adultery. That's all that's going the on. Pastor and, and the pastor and the bishops and the uh -huh. churches is, is effing everybody's wife up in there. It's true. I that's know people who go to these churches and, 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 and it's as a joke, they say, yeah, and the bishop and the pastor sleeping with everybody's wife. And they laugh, but it's true. It's they a running joke, but it's true. another level now. They ain't just sleeping with everybody's wife. They sleep with everybody's wife and their husband, man. And hitting the kids, Remember that, too. Remember that, that fucking raccoon, that pot, that dried up black possum looking motherfucker? The long John. No, Je uh, Peterson, Je uh, Jesse Lee. Jesse, Jesse Lee, Lee Peterson. Oh, Jesse Lee Peterson. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All that, you see all the accusations that came out on that? Oh, yeah. That chunk, man. Yeah, yeah, finished. That, right? Uh, that homo. Yeah. 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 And that's why the most oh, I had him at a stroke. He had a stroke live on, 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 right, on the live video, on man. Yeah, yeah. Most I am with these people, man. Different strokes with different folks. Someone, you, have, you have anger? Amazing. <laughs> anyway, this is Do you have anger? Yeah. 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 There's Isaiah 65, we started at 11. It says, talking about these monkeys out there that we going into mm -hmm. here. Yes. But when you start, you can even start up above that. You okay. start at like, it was at 9. Okay, I'll go nine. And I will bring forth a, a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah an inheritor of my mountains. So you know that's talking about the elect. Mm -hmm. yep. And we hope hopefully we're of the hopeful elect. We're hoping that we're them people, man. That's right. That's why we go through we go through to yeah. serve the Lord and, and, we, and that's it, man. Do the work. This is what it's all about, man. Okay. A lot of you idiots out there, you got it confused, man. You don't understand what it is to do the y'all talk, I'm doing God's work. But what God are you referring to, man? Right. You, you'll hear a lot of these like a master P or, or one of these so-called Successful entertainers, oh, right? It's, yeah, I'm doing God's work because why? They're going out there. They got food drives. They got uh, uh the pimp does that. They got they, yeah. They got um, little drug drug they got they got foundations for the kids and, yeah. and all this and that. Yeah, boy, right? They think what, what at the end of the day, what God are you talking about? You can't right. be talking about the God, the, the, the Heavenly Father, the Most High, the Creator of heaven and, and earth, they did. because He didn't He didn't He didn't send for for you to do that, man. That's right. What He told us to do is what we're doing. You go to First Corinthians, the uh, the first chapter. It said it pleased the heavenly Father by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. That's the most high's work. What y'all doing on the, is the devil's work. Because right. guess who put them on to that, man? It's the so the devil. Right, man. The, them small hats with the gigantic noses. Them niggas. They told you, hey, okay, look what we gonna do is, you know, some some nigga named uh. uh Henry uh, Hershowitz or something like that. Look, I'm gonna be your financial advisor. I'm gonna be a manager. They finesse this is what you do. You set up an organization. We're gonna set up a, 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 a save the children's fund in the name of you know so tax the name money. of you. And it's tax write-offs. And then it, it does that image. Esau is yeah. all about an image because people are stupid in this world. Yes, oh my God, he he feeds the children. Yeah. What the fuck is he feeding them? Oh, okay. pork pork chops, right. some soda pop. Especially that great soda that's gonna make them drop. <laughs> hey, um, a, good, a, a good example of that is um, one eight hundred cars for kids. Oh, that's uh, Amalek. Uh, uh, small hat. Y'all might not know it, but it's small hat. That's straight up Amalek. Matter man. of fact, that jingle goes back to one of them small hat nursery rhyme jingles. Right? They just changed the words and put cars for kids in there. And, and when and, I heard that, I said, that money, I, I said, how the fuck is, is a right. car for a kid? A kid can't even fucking right. drive. The money don't go to no kids. It goes, it goes to um, some um, rabbi. Or rabbis, and they take it to fix up their synagogue, or, 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 to, or to buy little little uh, kids yeah, organs, buy right, right, buy right. ambrosia. Nine eleven fund, that was all went to the big nose. Yeah, so exactly. they could buy little you know uh, kid organs and stuff like that. That's right. Little kids that they could sacrifice. So that's why I look the hell with all you you, you uh, wicked people, wicked amongst our people. You if you're not with the truth for the heavenly father, you're not with this word. The hell with you. You're going to die, man. And we in those times, we saying it bold in the spirit of Yahweh about Shem Yahweh shot. Go ahead, brother. We ain't, we ain't playing with none of y'all, man. We're not no. out here to, for, to, to feed your feelings and, and make everybody fuck all that, man. When the prophets came, they spoke and people got offended, man. That's right. Why do you think they sought to kill the prophets, man? Because they told them what the Lord said and they didn't cut to the side, man. We ain't like them slippery, slimy pastors in these wicked ass churches, man. All right? That's exactly what they are. You got it, my brother. I got something. I, I, okay. What, you well, I, I, what you were saying about how they set up these foundations, they said they're doing God's mm -hmm. work. Well, it says this is uh, John, St. John 6, and I'm going to start at 25 on down. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, <laughs> when camest thou hither? Yahweh Shai answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw 
the miracles. And now this is the Lord, Yahweh Shai. This is the and, Lord and, himself. And, and, and he, he had to disappear on these niggas, man. Yeah. Showing you that he wasn't into all this, you know, they taught this turkey food drives and stuff like that. And then this is what he told him, because you, you got slick niggas and stuff. You know, we've seen it too, right? Motherfuckers would be out there waiting for uh, the apostles and the brothers to get out there. Well, I can't wait. They're out there waiting all day because they know they might get some type of handout. That day, that's you know, they, exactly they, they know they don't, you know, hey, we, we compassionate brothers, even though people don't think we are, especially the apostles, yep. right? So we get a collection, you see a brother look like he's hard up, and we get a collection of apostles. So I've seen it plenty of times, right? Other brothers just pull the money out their pockets, and, right? Then it became even a heavy week, so to the point where the brothers are clocking, they don't care about what we're saying. No. They care about that, that what they're going to get, that money they're going to get, right? They come in there, they come in looking for a handout, when, when they're supposed to actually be supporting us. Yeah, yeah, you understand? They come in there looking for a handout, and that's what, and the same thing with these people here. St. John 6 and 26. Yahweh Shai answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles. So the Lord is cursing these niggas out, man. Yep, he's telling them straight up, and that's why they sought to kill him because he kept it real with them. And these were people that was acting like they was following him, right? Just like you, you niggas act like you follow the Lord. It said, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Yeah. Then the Lord cut him and said, look, labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you from him hath the Most High the Father sealed, which is what? This knowledge. So this is the meat that perisheth not. Can you go back to that part? Let's get it to the Bible shot. Okay, uh, 26 again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yahweh Shai answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat the loaves and were filled. See, you know what comes to mind? That nigga, that nigga shot nigga, said, yeah, and the lamb was good. The right. lamb was banging. The lamb, yeah. So that's why he was, you know, he wasn't trying to, he, you figured that he'd have been an Israelite, left that Egyptology shit alone. Nah. He'd have, you know, stopped with yeah. all that bullshit. And they saw straight up miracles. Yeah. But, but but wait a minute. He saw a miracle. He seen. He watched the apostles. He, he was coming to our camp. Mm -hmm. When we out there teaching, you know, he see out, out there oh, these yeah, Edomites yeah. and stuff coming up against us, yeah. getting confounded. And right. the he held all the right. debates. Yeah, yeah. His life was cutting everybody out. But he still went back to you know he went back to his own uh, vomit. You like see, the dog did return like, to that that's what it was. Was just a mill. Yeah. You see, and that's why. So these food pantries. You got people that you got people that really do that. That work for the Salvation Army. Right, the food pantries do the food drives, and they think he's like, oh, they, that's a good person. No, they not. First of all, they got Caesar Borgia or Christmas Christmas Serapis yeah. up in they, they house praying to a goddamn false ass image of the Lord. All right, and that's bringing a curse in your house. If you got that image in your house, you bringing a curse in your house, man. Then you got them what frying up some goddamn pork chops, catfish, catfish, pig feet. That's why the Lord said, oh, Mom, said what? Uh, these people, they, they, uh, with their lips, they do honor me, me, but their heart is far, far from them. No, them, <laughs> yeah. shit can have a plate of some abomination, pork chops, or shrimp, and then let's, yep. send, let's send a prayer, let's pray over our food. Yeah. Just unclean food, but they're going to pray. Right, they're demons. They're praying to the demons. They're praying to the demons, man. There's more on that. Uh, it says, uh, verse 27, John 6 and 27, labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. And, and wait, and how do you labor for that meat that, that doesn't perish? Looking at it right now. That, this, exactly. This is the real work of the Most High. When you're saying you're doing God's work, if you're talking about the Heavenly Father, this is what you're supposed to be doing. Not all that other nonsense that y'all out there talking about, man. Right. Those 501c3 chartered program, programs, man. Getting uh, that tax exemption and federal, uh, what do you call them? Um, Grants and Grants. stuff like that. Right. Yeah. That's not the most high's work. First of all, nope. the, the most high, James 4 and 4. All right, the adulterers and adulteresses. Know ye not that the friendship of this world is enmity with the heavenly father. Right. So if you sitting up there linking up with this world and doing all the things of this world, you're not doing the heavenly father's work, you're doing the devil's work. That's right. And the devil's work is about what? The God of the community. See, that's the God you mm. serve, which is by Al Barith. But Al Barith is known as the God of the community. And that's what these niggas talking about. Look about my community, my community. You're talking about the God of the community, which is by Al Barith. That goes back to ancient Babylon. 
So that's a Babylonian deity, the god of the community. Mm -hmm. As you see, the Lord right here said that, look, you, you're not here because you saw the miracles. You're here because you did eat of the loaves and the fish. That's right. That's what you're here for. And then he cut him and said, labor not for the meat that perisheth, but the meat that uh, leadeth unto everlasting life. Yeah, and that's why even amongst the different brothers in different camps, the Lord had us, what, cut our circles, and the circles still get trimmed. Yeah. Because you got certain niggas that hang around just because, you know, they, they look forward to, say it again? Handouts. Yeah, they look forward to the time when brothers start uh, getting a bucket of chicken. Oh, I know these brothers, they, I know they're going to eat, I know they're going to put a grill out. One thing about the Israelite brothers, them brothers can fucking hook, hook a grill, hook that shit up on a grill. Right. You know? And, and that, back in the days, you remember we had that term? The Passover Israelites, right? The cookout right. Israelites, cookout right. Israelites. Yes. You only you only see them. You wouldn't see them at the classes when it's time to really put some work in on the on the camps. But yet, when it, they want to, you know, when it's time to chill or, or reap the benefits of hard work, they want to sit there and partake. That's a low life nigga, man. You got a lot of them type of niggas, man. You know, you got a lot of bunch of uh, combatist type niggas, man. Opportunity niggas that show up after the battle's already over, right? You know, right? And this and this right here, like um. Uh, could, could you hold uh, Luke 6 and 27? Because I'm going to read it. This is an intermediate scripture on what you were just ex explaining. This is going to explain it a little more about that getting together and trying to feed. Because there's a bunch of damn niggas out there. That's what it is. All right? Number one, it's a you're, it's a bunch of damn low-life scumbucket scum ass niggas yeah, scum and bucket. women <laughs> and their little demonic children. All right? Right, it, it, ain't just, right. it ain't just limited to the men and the women. Their little demonic ass uh little offspring too Those monsters them little grump them little monsters now the scriptures say this again because we was talking about when they talking about they doing god's work they doing the work of the god in the community yeah the lord ain't about that community yeah. bullshit. If, there, if there is a community this is the community right here this tight-knit community right here the brother the most the brother. this brotherhood it's the brother hey, hey wait a minute the scripture said the scripture say how beautiful it is <clears throat> when what if i could propose when, when, when brothers dwell when together, brothers dwell dwell together, together in, in unity, unity. And it, it didn't say nothing how about the community. It said brothers, the brothers dwell right. together in unity, man. We're just talking right. about the Israelite man. Yeah. See, that's that's the community right there, the Israelite man. Just like when you look up the it, word, and, and, and really, I like to say, I would like to say the, the elect, brotherhood. The brother, I would like to say the brotherhood. Fuck a community because yeah. the, what the, they don't polluted that word and, yeah. and it's attributed like you went into it earlier uh Alba, Alba Riff. Alba Riff, the yeah. god of the community right and the scriptures don't really talk about a community it talks about a brotherhood That's brotherhood right. you know right. let brotherly love continue let bro right as a corporate term yeah it's, it's, it's a straight up corporate well, no, uh, wicked term like when you watch the anything in the media they mention the community right you automatically know you're talking about niggas and spicks in them that's organized through Esau organized, right. Exactly. organized right that's right exactly. so, so now dig this real quick quick impromptu First Peter's 2 and 17. It says, honor all men, right? Meaning men of the Lord. Right. It said, love the brotherhood. Whoa. Fear the most high, honor the king. Mm -hmm. yeah. Honor all men. Love the brotherhood. Brotherhood. Fear the most high, honor the king. Notice the scriptures say brotherhood. They ain't say nothing about sisterhood. Nothing about sisterhood, the community. The brother is brotherhood. brotherhood. You know, like when the yeah. scripture says, Three times a year shall the children of Israel come before the Lord. When you go into the Hebrew, the word there is bunyam, which means three times a year the sons of Israel shall come meet before the Lord. Three times a year in our Leviticus the 23rd and, and, chapter. And Jake don't get it because they keep falling for the same okie doke over and over again, the BLM. And then, they, you know, and a lot of these, when you're dealing with this, these organized communities, that's where they bring these women into it. And then it just becomes a mess. That's all okay. it is. There's nothing but the a free lunch program. The, Black Panther program, community, uh, uh, all, you know, all of that shit. It's all a mess. The most eyes are not dealing with that. This is what the Lord is dealing with it, man. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding. The word of the most high, man. No, first of all, y'all can't even can't even talk to y'all because y'all don't even know who the hell y'all are. Right. That's where it starts. You gotta start with your true identity. And then knowing that you are Israelite, you're supposed to know what's required of an Israelite. Right. If you have the true understanding of being a Israelite. <clears throat> a Israelite. But, but you have been <clears throat> infested with fucking plantation Christianity. Yeah. Right? Plantation Christianity has infested, ha infested your mind, your conscious, your subconscious, your bloodstream, <laughs> your whole entire being is infested with plantation Christianity. Yeah. Because you know what? The scriptures say, is Jacob a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Uh, yeah, the majority of you are a bunch of goddamn slave-ass niggas. 
That's what you are. A bunch of homeborn slaves. A bunch of Stockholm Syndrome ass niggas raised by your mama. Yeah, that's why you bust out. These niggas be all tough. Be killing each other, killing the hell out of a nigga. Right. Burn a nigga up in a car, shoot him with 60 bullets and everything. Yep. Then when he's in jail, you talk about Jesus, sweet Jesus. Or I, 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 pray, I pray to Christ. Right. Or, or I like this. Why? Because your mama taught you about right. that goddamn devil. That emotional shit. And, and like, like this, like this, like this bitch ass nigga, young thug. The nigga who like to wear lipstick and, and, and um, nail polish and wear dresses. And this oh, motherfucker and, is and in prison. He's in prison now. And he talking, and, uh, uh, word is coming from him that, oh man, he, he can't exist in those conditions. Nigga, you walk the walk and you talk the talk. Yeah. So now you're going to have to, you got to pay the price, nigga. Now this bitch ass nigga is complaining about because he's locked up. Nigga, this is all your songs, you nigga's songs. Your nigga songs is all about murder, death, kill, destruction of each other. I fucked this bitch, I fucked his wife. This whatever, I shot his mama's house up, this and that. You niggas are fucking destructive. Oh man, speaking of that, I don't know if y'all heard about it, it was one, one bitch, all right? And I guess uh, the dude was, <clears throat> was dealing with her, he had her pregnant and everything. Then I guess her ex came probably some grimy, stupid ass nigga, mm -hmm. right? And the nigga was so scared, he ran over, he ran the pregnant bitch over. Damn. Mm -hmm. Killed him. But hey, but guess who, who's the source of that wickedness? That pregnant bitch. Pregnant bitch. You know? They're all a tragedy. Tra no, that, that's judgment, man. So I gotta understand judgment from the Lord, man. That's right. But, but, but so, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this. They're dealing with the, uh, the so called uh, feeding. The, the congregation or, or any any old nigga or, or nigga woman that walk up and you give them a plate of food like you're doing a good thing. Scriptures say this, Ecclesiastes 12, and, and I'm going to read on down to about the sixth verse. In the Apocrypha, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1 on down. When thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it. So shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. Do good unto the godly man, and thou shalt find a reason not from him, yet from the Most High. Then it says, there can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that, nor to him that giveth alms. No alms, that giveth no alms. And you Jake's out there, you don't give no alms to the church of the Most High. You give alms to the church of the devil, to the church of the wicked, you paying your 10% and your tithes to. But you're not giving no alms to the, to the righteous of the Most High. You're, you're supplying the wicked. You're supplying the church of the devil, which is that Christianity garbage. Christianity, Islam, Roman Catholicism, Pentecostal, Seven Day Adventist, Jehovah Witness, whatever whatever effing name you want to put on it. Baptist, Methodist, whatever name you want to put on it. Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. It says, Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Right, so it's not wrong. You're supposed to help no sinner. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Which means fine. a lawbreaker. <clears throat> well, okay, a nigga who a nigga who uh he shaved his head off bald, he got tattoos all over his body. That's a sinner. Leviticus 26 and 5. Thou shalt make any printings in thy flesh. Thou shalt not yeah. make baldness around the, the corners of thy head. Wait a minute, he's a sinner. The scriptures say, help the godly man, but help not the sinner. Yeah, so you feeding yeah. this motherfucker yeah. Salakia. Yeah, nah, you you feeding a nigga, you feeding a sinner. And you ain't supposed to help them. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't supposed nah. to help them. First of all, he, he's wicked. And, and, and you gotta look at it like this. It was the first Samuel 2 and 6. It said, The Lord mm -hmm. killeth and maketh alive. Yep. Right? And then it said, uh, The Lord uh, uh, maketh for it. No, he's bringing get, get it real quick and read it for me. If a, if a guy's in a fucked up situation, then first of all, what the hell is he doing? Scripture yeah. say, Examine thyself. Right. All right? He, he's out there uh, worshiping Caesar Borgia and everything like right. that. Worshiping all eating uh, shrimp, lobster. Of course, the most high's judges are running upon him. Worshiping like, Allah. Yeah, worshiping Allah. Worshiping his mama. Yeah. And, 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 you, and it's to the point now where nobody, there was a point where, okay, this truth wasn't out there, right? There is a law of innocence and everything. But like Yahweh Shai said, had I not come, then they would have had a cloak for their, their sin. But now that he has come, there's, there's no cloak. There's no cloak. You, you can't cover no up. You can't say you didn't know. Right. Even to, I'm down to a, a so called homeless bum in the street. He's supposed to know better. He's supposed to know this, man. All right? But now, if a brother's getting himself together or, or, or through compassion, if you get compassion, there's nothing wrong with help. We're not saying that that's off or whatever. But we're just going into the point of doing the work of the Lord is out here teaching his word. Warn, the Lord said, warn the people. That's what you're supposed to be out here warning. 
Go ahead, my brother. This is our first Samuel 2 and uh, 6. Uh -huh. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. Yeah. He bringeth down to the grave and right. bringeth up. He'll put you in the grave or he'll raise you up. You can get sick and the Lord can heal you, right? Or he can stick you in the grave. Go ahead. And then, and then in the box it says, we're now a change to a lower state, right? To, uh, to take it patiently, we're now a change to a lower state. Because why? The, the most size the one that allows we all been to low, low points and whatever. But you still got to serve the Lord, Lord and keep your integrity. That's where it goes back into the scriptures. The scriptures are there to help you and hold you down when you go through those times, man. You remember, you remember Job. Job went through it. So you, you endure those hardships for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shida, for his word, for his truth. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is a Proverbs 30 and 8. It says, uh, remove far from me vanity and lies. That's right. That's, that's right, because why? This world is full of vanity and lies. They sit there and, and teach you how to be proud, teach you to focus on, you know, uh, uh, love, love, that, love everybody. Meanwhile, the, the white man is smacking you around, uh, putting poison in your food, your system, killing your kids. Now, they never shot another nigga. Y'all heard about that, right? Uh, I think it was, was it 30 a times? Dozen, over a few dozen times. 30 yeah. times with a 60 yeah. shot. Yeah. The unarmed nigga in Akron, yeah. back yeah. where Jay Reed is from. Yeah, I just read it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Akron, Ohio. Right. It says, uh, remove, remove far from me vanity and lies. And lies. Dr. Fawcett, <coughs> as the bishop, I not cause him, man. Here it is. This motherfucker supposed to be the expert, right? He was the, 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 the COV God, right? Right. Everybody, well, doc, no, Dr. Fauci said that, Dr. Fauci, right? The motherfucker that had his hands in the HIV, in the HIV movement, right? But everybody forgot, no, Dr. Fauci, right? So his ass caught the shit twice, right? Nigga lying, uh, I'm, do, I'm, I'm doing better. The motherfucker, and he's supposed, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's the most size making a mockery of these motherfuckers, man. Right, when, uh, when if you if you've seen the Senate hearings where Rand Paul was digging in Fauci's really. ass about, wait a minute, you lied about, uh, uh, paying uh, Wuhan for gain of function. Gain of function means taking this particular virus and transferring it into humans. Pressure from above, pressure from, above, pressure from below. And and they had him in front of a Senate committee, a Senate committee, and they were getting at him because he lied about the gain of function that they actually paid. They were working in partnership with Wuhan. Again, more lies, more lies, more, more lies. See. But our people, they rather they rather the lies than the truth. Right. Well, prophesying in these school things. Right. So, they, yeah, well, I, I, got that too. I got that too. It says, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Right. right. Feed me with food convenient for me. Convenient. So if you are if you're doing the most high's work, he's not gonna put you in a position to where you can't do the work. So he's not gonna allow you to get to that point to where you living on the streets and you can't do the Lord's work. Uh, better. So well, hence what the scripture said, give me poverty, neither give me riches. Yeah. So the most high will give you enough. With, and that go with uh, Corinthians 2, right? Uh, was it 10 and 13? No man uh, uh, suffered. Man, let me read it real quick. That goes right exact, exactly with what you're saying. You know? It, it basically goes, goes into having faith in, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah at the end of it, man. Yeah, because he said if he feeds the birds, will he not take care of you? Yeah. Now this is our first Corinthians chapter 10. I'll start at 12. It says, wherefore let him that think if he standeth take heed lest he fall. It goes back into checking ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know? You can't be proud of this thing, man. Yeah, because you can get guys you know, that get, get super, cast up. They turn to super money. And, and the thing is, the scary part, they don't even see it, but their speech testify against them. Right. You got guys out there that think that they did basically they think they like on the level of Yahweh Shah. Right. They think they can heal you of all, all sicknesses. They think that they got all the answers, Sway. All right, I got the, the answers to heal. I, you take this, you'll be healed of every goddamn thing. All right, so hey, you gotta take heed, at least you fall. Yeah, take heed, meaning check yourself, mm -hmm. all of us, you know. Now it says, 13, there has no temptation taken you, but such as common to men. So when you get into, when you're going through your hell, and you're supposed to go through hell, man. The scripture said acceptable men through the uh, uh, furnace of adversity. Yeah. That's a, that's a blessing to catch how to be persecuted for the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. man. All right, right. hey, look, we're all a bunch of Joes, man. We just drink drink down fucking, you know, a, a hell like water, man. We catch hell like, I mean, it don't feel good. I mean, we don't, not that we live. We embrace it, though. We embrace it. 
We fuck the heat, like Apostle Ricardo always says, man. We fuck the heat, man. We don't let the heat fuck, fuck us, we fuck the heat. You know? We don't sit there like this. Cause, hey, earlier, it's starting to get a little cool now, but it was hot. And guess what? We always fucking working, working, fixing our cars and all kinds, working the houses out there working prior to us coming out here, man. Yes, we work. We still work, man. Over then 30 years of working hardcore. And, 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 making, sure, and making sure mm-hmm. we put the work of the most side at the forefront. We still come out here. That's right. We don't sit there and bitch, man. And sometimes the demons might say, hey, man, you work hard, man. You deserve Nah, fuck that. We got to do the work of the Lord. Strive for the truth and to death, man. You see? We program. This is how you all supposed to be. Locked in, man. To the, uh, Praying to the end. We want to endure to the end. Regardless of whatever, man. We got shit. Our leg get messed up. We got to come with crutches. Or, you know what I'm saying? You know, like it says in Romans 8 chapter, this is what we do, man. Because this is the true work of the Heavenly Father, man. It's being on display, right? But don't think that you're the only person that's going through shit. All of us are going through the same shit, man. Go ahead, my brother. Come. Second Timothy uh, 2 mm-hmm. and 1. It says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai. Right, and we're standing by grace. Yeah. It's through the grace of the it's, Lord that he opened our eyes and brought us in his truth. And there's the least we could do. Reasonable service. That's right. right? It's still unprofitable service. Verse 2. And the, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Right? Right, and that's, the, that's what we do. What we teach is for the hopeful elect. Ultimately, the elect out there, they hear the word, and then they go out and do what, they, what we're doing, mm-hmm. teaching to, to feed, more, feed others, mm-hmm. to bring them back into the fold of Yahweh, 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 Shai. Yep. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness, as a good soldier enjoy, of Yahweh Shai. Endure hardness. And it's called bearing your cross. You gotta bear, Yahweh Shai bear the cross. Right? And the Lord said, as a servant is not greater than his master. Yeah. yeah. You gotta go through, you know? Yeah, you, you gotta go through. You gotta go through. Gotta go through. And, and a lot of guys went through a little, and their toe just dipped into it and they fell out. Yeah. You know? So hey, it's gotta be a special kind of spirit. It's gotta be in it. Gotta it's be. gotta, yeah. Well, the Lord gotta be in Yahweh Shai. Because what got us through all our pain and suffering? Yahweh Shai. Still to this day. Still to it ain't stopped. Still to this day. It ain't stop, It ain't gonna stop until we're saved out of here, man. That's and we right. understand that. Hey, the, like the scripture said, remember Lot's wife, man. All right? Don't be looking back. Don't be thinking about, you know, what I, what I man, listen, man. I, I don't, listen, I, we have no regrets about nothing, man. No. First of all, I ain't, you couldn't have paid me to tell me that I'd be alive in 2022. Yeah. All right? Mm-hmm. Much less that the world would still be what it is, what it is. Still all right? But I, I, so... All I know is that it's through the grace of Yahweh by Shai that we are here. And we're here for a, we're here for a real reason. Okay? <laughs> we're here for a real reason. Right? We're here for a reason. That's right. So those mercies were not, were not consumed. Consumed. We're not consumed. The sons of Jacob. Because why? The Most High wanted us out here to preach the gospel to the elect, man, and to condemn the rest. Okay? That's what it is. Either you, you're going to get blessed or cursed. You, you see? And right now we're in a time where the, the curses and those judgments are coming down heavy. People are dying. You got people jumping off of bridges. You got, uh, uh, like I said, the bitch just got ran over. Pregnant bitch right. got ran over. Y'all seen that picture I sent earlier, right? Oh, that dude, dude yeah. walking in, in the middle. Oh of the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, dude's got straight up death wishes, man. Yeah, yeah. The brother on the highway, nigga walking on the medium in the middle, on top of that little those uh, what you call it, man? The, the barriers. The, the barriers, in the middle. man. Yeah, yeah. Jersey Perry. Yeah. So, so the most I, a lot of people are bugging out because why? We at the end of America. Nobody could. They don't understand what's going on. The people don't got what it takes to endure. Everybody is out of their fucking mind right now. That's why people are, are getting higher than ever right now, man. People are getting high looking for any escapism. If there's still any crackheads left, they're doing the most crack they can do. Man. A lot of people was on that crystal meth. Why you think people were willing to risk it all to take some damn fentanyl, man? You got people that don't give a damn because why? They want to go anywhere else besides reality. Because reality is too scary for these motherfuckers, man. And guess what? It's going to get worse, man. All right? But anyway, Slocker, I'll, I'll read it. Right, 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 sorry. Corinthians, First Corinthians. Corinthians. Yep. So it says, They have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But the Heavenly Father is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able 
to bear, bear it. Yeah, so there's no excuse, man. Yeah. We go, we got the same problems everybody else got. We got to go to work. Some of us got families. You know, we wake up, we're not feeling well. Halfway jacked up. You know, shit. We we got to do whatever rent. We got to fight there with bills and all. Yeah, that. subject to payments, all that shit, Everything, man. man. We got. Well, we make it up. Make a way through the spirit of the Lord. Nick, we're not worried about it. We know that this stuff is temporary, man. And see, we got faith. We're not sitting there like, oh my God, we need some security. We should invest in this. We should go get a, a, a doomsday bunker. We ain't worried about that, man. Now, brothers might, you know, have a little stock, a little extra chicken noodles in, in their cabinets or whatever. Hey, all right, cool. But at the end of the day, the scriptures say the judge should live by faith. And then the script go back to what you had in Isaiah. That uh, uh, my son, you still got that? I got that. Okay, just, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll go to that then. Yeah. I'm gonna finish this out. Yeah. First Samuel's. Hey, these scriptures, uh, this is our bloodline, man. This is our life support, man. That's why you got to get more into the script, scriptures, man. Don't just be sitting there just saying, you know, like you just, uh, 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 how you say it, uh, an inordinate, inordinate object, like you just a, a fixture, you just like a rock or something. No, an animate, the water, an animate object. You're sitting here, you just a, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like there's something that's just stuck there. Flagpole. You just, yeah, you're the flagpole. You're flapping and open. Nah, you want to be active, man. You're supposed to be active, man. All right? The most eyes about actions, man. All right? But right? the script and the proof of that is James, the first chapter. All right? Around what? The uh, 22nd verse around there. <coughs> but it's be hearers, hear, doers of the word and not hearers only. So you got to be, you got to spring into action. If you really sincerely call yourself servant the most high, you how about you how shot? And it don't be it doesn't last for just one minute. All right, one week you on fire, then three weeks, three months down the road, you, you're done, you know, tapped out, you know, forgot all the breakdowns. You can't break down Revelations, the first chapter, verse one, you know? Nah, man. Yeah, Isaiah 14, you don't uh, uh pertaining to what <laughs> Genesis 27. <laughs> yeah, yep, that's right, man. You gotta, hey, man, you gotta let these breakdowns in this word stick to your ribs, man. All right, man, you gotta hope. The scripture said that which you have, hold fast till I come. All right, which means what? The understanding, this truth, this is what sets us apart. This is what makes us the kingdom, the men of the Lord, is this knowledge, man. Not the fact that you're just a, a, a fucking vessel that, that's saying that you're an Israelite. No, you gotta have that oil inside you, man. What's a vessel without no oil? Still worthless, man. Go ahead. First Samuel's two and eight. He raises up the poor out of the dust. Yeah, and we can attest to that, man. The Lord raised us up out of the dust. We all fucking we still poor, but we was poor poorer. Okay? We was a lot poorer than what we are, you know? We had the moments, man. And really raised us up from being poor from a, a poor state of mind. All right? Before we came into this truth, we all thought with a poor state of mind, just like these other niggas that you see out there, right? We, we, we didn't know the truth, we didn't know, you know? So we were thinking on a low, low uh, level. Low frequency. Low, that's the word, a low frequency level, yeah, man. We love the world and all the things that were in the Yeah, world. some of us thought the way that you gotta go to school, right. uh, follow the white man, you gotta get money, die getting money, right? That's what we thought, uh oh, we gotta go find a woman, bow down to get a white a house with a white picket fence. We thought that that's what it, what it all was about. That was an nah, game. The Lord raised us up out of it, man. You see? Yeah, but that's what presents confusion. And, and now you you know that's heavy. Let's go to Revelation the third chapter. And Babaka Shah, let's get that real quick. Revelation, Revelation 3 and it started at 15. And the point I want is like in 18, 19. Because the ironic thing is you got people in this world that, you know, like your Floyd Mayweathers and these other entertainers that have, you know, almost billionaires or whatever, which it's is a lot which is a it's just a consolation package. All right, just like if you was on the Price is Right and you, you didn't get the main package, just so you wouldn't go home crying too much, they give you a consolation package. They give you, you know, a, a, a free tickets to a, a play or some shit. It's a loser's you know? It's a loser's gift. It's a loser's, loser's uh, gift, a loser's uh, 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 prize. Yeah. But, Definition for consolation. Okay, go ahead. The comfort received by a person after a loss or disappointment. Yeah, a loser, right? But in their mind, they don't think that they lose because why? Compared to the average Jake, oh man, a billionaire, a bill, you know, oh my God. But now when you deal with the, these, these Edomites that are beyond trillionaires, who do you think they look? Bill Gates is not the rich, nowhere near the richest devil. All right, who's the other motherfucker? Um, tell them that, that drinking blood. Buffett, right? The motherfuckers are not the richest devils. They're richer than niggas. 
but they're not the elite like the other the elite big noses. They're the front men. They're the front men. In the faces that you see. You know? But now, you got these guys, again, like the Floyd Mayweather's in them. They, but they are better off than most of us, right? But guess what? They're really, they're really not rich. They're really, like the scripture's going to tell you, they're wretched and poor. So it's ironic. Here it is. We, you know, we just get by. But we, we have riches that outweigh anything that they have, man. Don't, don't tell me about your 80 car fleet of Bugattis and flying, and driving. Oh, that ain't shit compared to the riches that we got. Okay? I don't know. I don't know what they told you. We holding it down. We holding the real riches, boy. I mean, I gotta say it that way. Who got it? Yeah, Revelation three yeah. fifteen. That's Re up. Revelation chapter three verse fifteen. It says, "I know thy works." Now thou art neither cold nor hot. Right, and the Lord knows at the end of the day you can't fool the spirit, man. You got dudes that know that they were lukewarm, or not even lukewarm, they was probably cold, like a cold patch. But then when the light gets shined on them or whatever, then they want to put on this whole act like they've been on fire. You, you've been this great teacher for years and all this time, your time in here, like you ain't fall off or fall off, fall short. But the Lord said, I know your works, man. He said, you're neither cold nor hot. You trying to straddle the fence. You got people out there that's in the entertainment or famous that they believe, but they didn't they didn't uh, take that next step. But they love this present evil world, right? Yep. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. Uh huh. I would thou were cold or hot. Right. So if you in this truth, you in a camp, you gotta make your fucking mind. Okay, especially with great millstone. All right, because the spirit of the Lord that the Lord set up with the holy apostles, all right, is that look, this is a camp of, of, of action, man. It's not a, this ain't a hangout. This ain't no half-ass camp. This ain't a camp that don't have the knowledge, the wisdom. This ain't a camp that's a bunch of sluggards that's not going to do the work of the Lord. No, the spirit of the Heavenly Father is fire, man. Okay? So this word's supposed to be fire inside you at all times, man. Even when you so-called chilling out, you're thinking about the, the certain scriptures and, and men. I wonder when the Lord's going to come, man. I can't wait to get the hell up out of here. It looks like the Lord's on his way probably... Shit, any time now, the way shit is. You constantly thoughts like that are racing through your head, man. In your conversation. In your conversation. Yeah. It right. says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So you got to make up your mind, man. Make up your mind, because why? The spirit don't play in the whole side. And that's why, and everything is spiritual, too. Because these guys get put out, and then they show their fucking colors. Then you see that, yeah, this nigga was definitely a demon. The whole time. <laughs> Most times it was tired. His time was up, man. You see? And the only people that they're going to take away is, is the niggas that the Lord don't want anyway. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> so then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot. Right. The Lord is not dealing with nobody that's lukewarm. Apostle Todd, you see, from as long as we've known him, you saw always bring this scripture out, man. All right? And then we're going to continue through the spirit of your how about you try to bring the scripture out, man. And the Lord said, because you are lukewarm, right, go ahead, you're not either cold nor hot, go ahead. I will spew thee out of my mouth. Most sides say going to spit you out of this truth, man. All right? And that's the, you don't want to get into those territories, man. That's dangerous grounds right there, man. Because look, once the most side, and see, when you win this truth, we all remember how we rejoice coming into this truth, right? We all was happy, excited, right? We learned who we were. You we were able to confound these stupid ass niggas in the church and all these other demons, right? So now, if, if the Messiah spits you out, it's not like you falling off and going to the gym and you can work yourself back up in there and start back and get your, your physique back. Nah, it's over. It's a wrap, all right? Now you're going to be even more bugged out with even more demons, and we see it all the time, man. Dudes that was once out here doing this and that act like they was really with it, they out there fuck the fuck out, man. So that's why you ain't supposed to be in no lukewarm type spirit. Because if you are, the Lord is going to spit you out. Go ahead. Yep. Because thou say, I am rich. Right. And a lot of these guys, they, they think that they rich. But see, that's what a lot of these dudes, they went for the bag, man. And that's why even some of them was calling us the bumpkin. They thought it was all about a bag. Like the scripture said, what, what, supposing... Gain was gain is godliness. Supposed to gain this godliness, man. A lot of these guys figure, oh, we got the biggest camp, the numbers. We got all these silly, stupid women coming up in here. So they, they're giving us their life earnings. They, a lot of these guys, and they're doing good. But that don't mean shit, because why? Really, you're not as rich as you think you is. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, because thou sayest I am rich, and increased with goods, uh -huh. and have need of nothing, 
and knowest not that thou art wretched. <laughs> thou wretched, man. You said thou increase with, with uh, goods and have need of nothing, man. That's that pride, man. A lot of these dudes are living high on the hog, man. And I'm talking about Israelites, not just, you got these other wicked niggas like Farrakhan and uh, Jesse Jackson and all these, Al Sharpton. Them niggas are wicked ass niggas, man. All right, they not gonna make it. And they're doing good, they sold out. But you got other Israelites. Yohanna, why you think he does the things that he do? All right? But he's, he's living comfortably. Nate, he's living comfortably. Because if not, they would repent and stop teaching the lies they teach him, man. All right? And confess their wickedness. At one time, Yohanna did, and I don't know if you uh, uh, acknowledge it, during, going back during the time of uh, Lahab, when Lahab and them got busted and Lahab didn't come to the uh, council, all right? And I remember that same week, the apostles, they, they told us, because Yohanna was there, and he went before the congregation, and he said, I'm sorry, because he's a part of the central command. All right? And he might, he might, he's might not going to tell you, he might admit, I don't know. But he said, look, brother, he said, as far as wickedness, I had a PhD in wickedness. He said that back then, and he apologized to the brothers. Then he disappeared. All right? And he was down, I think, in Philly, Dillon, whatever. And then it spoils other rumors that eventually he was dealing with some young chick, and they come for him, had to pay the parents off and they, they, they dismissed them or some shit like that, but whatever, that's, that's uh, whatever, neither here nor there, that's what was, was said. But the thing is, is that these guys, they, they, they received that bag, man. And not just them, we got a few other of these top dudes, which don't be, that dude's a damn demon, a folk yeah. he's, a, he's been an agent, all right? The spirit of Apostle Todd back years ago, and a lot of you guys are guilty, you try to act like y'all didn't, y'all got, y'all never had nothing to do, do with him becoming to the level that he did, y'all opened your arms. The scripture said, except uh, uh, lay no hands upon no man suddenly. All right, except no man against your soul. But y'all laid hands on that nigga. Y'all let that nigga come out the, 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 the depths of hell and called him an elder, elder could not. That's what y'all called him. All right, and the spirit was our apostle to and the rest of us was cursing y'all out, telling you that that nigga was a demon back then. So now he's being the biggest demon. He, he's trying to debunk the truth now. And, all this other stuff because why he's an agent we've been telling you there's some more of them agents around here man all right go ahead my brother yep it says but thou sayest i am rich and increased with goods uh -huh. and have need of nothing and knows not that thou art wretched and miserable right you niggas are wretched and miserable miserable man and we can look at you we can see man because why y'all did a lot of wickedness man yeah you, yeah, you can see it man you know, and it ain't just because some of you guys are sick. No, it's because of all that wickedness you've done, man. I mean, yeah, you sick and most side jacks you up to where you at now. But that's because of all that wickedness and, and that pride that you refuse to, to humble yourself, man. The Lord said that you what? You're wretched, man. And, and then the people of this world, they're fucked up because money doesn't bring happiness, man. Uh -huh. All right? Money money can't buy, buy you love. Ain't that the song? Can't buy you health either, dude. Money can't buy you health. Oh, I jack your shit up. Nigga, if you're going to uh, have a stroke, if the whole right or left side of your body frees up, the only person that can get, get that back to you is the most side. You see? Can't even count your money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you <laughs> got to have somebody count it for you. <laughs> like, what was that dude that was in the, the, the so-called genius? Not Elon, uh, what the fuck is his name? Oh, the one I was in the fucked up in the wheelchair. In the wheelchair? Uh, the shit over no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's uh, supposed to be this real rich billionaire, whatever. I forgot, man. Uh, man, what the fuck is his name? And he sat there, he, he talked with the computer like, and all quantum, that. Quantum physicists and all that shit. The little dude in the wheelchair. He, 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 he died like three, four years, two years ago. ago. But money couldn't help, help that nigga out. He had all the money in the world and he still was all fucked up. That's why he was trying to. Uh, 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 put the name in the chat. No, somebody put it. Okay. And he was trying to advance that the AI system which goes into the. That's another reason of, the, of them. Um, with the, with the market of, you know, the market of you know what, why they pushing that? Right. In the brain chip. He's trying to cure himself. Yeah. With all that money, he couldn't get his, his health back, man. The most I had him all fucking, all twisted up and shit, all fucked up and couldn't Stephen even talk. Stephen Hawkins. That's Stephen the Hawkins, Hawkins, the water. The water. the water, brother. Stephen Hawkins, that's that motherfucking name. Stephen Hawkins, I, he couldn't fix himself. He's got worse and worse. And he died, okay? So money is not everything, man. The real riches is this knowledge, man. Okay, because what Esau is doing right now is, is about to really go down. And if you're not prepared mentally, according to the scriptures, you're gonna get caught and swept away in this destruction. All right, because right now what they're doing, 
with, with the war with it in Iraq and all that, basically they, they're depleting the whole economy throughout Europe, okay, and eventually that's prophecy too, and especially here in America, man. Like when we started off, we was talking about the different living situations and how the rent and everything, everybody, nobody's uh, able to really live nowhere. No, a lot of people are running out of places to live, and they, they're kicking people out of their houses. Rent is too damn high. Rent is way too damn high. Sessions coming soon. Yeah. Quick. Yep, and, and, and they're looking, they looking to shake off a whole bunch of useless eaters, man. Just like they did with the big CO, okay, a few years ago. They got rid of a bunch of useless eaters, man. You see? That's what it is, because this is all planks of their so-called New World Order. All right? All right. Bishop uh, Elder uh, Taz was going into some of that. He brought up the book, uh, what was that, about two or three weeks ago, The Satan's Angels Exposed. Uh, uh, Alexander uh, Kirby, I think his name is, right? From San Diego? I forgot who was. I thought it was not like being a Kirby. Salem Kirby. Salem Kirby. Yeah, yeah. Salem Kirby and yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm mixing the two dudes there. Yeah, it's a lot. The New yeah. World Order by uh, Ralph Epperson. Yeah, yeah. That's so another one. goes into them. Basically, the erosion of of your uh, property, the erosion of your finances. Great reset. That's what yeah. it is. The Great Reset. Yeah. Which, yeah. Which the World Economic Forum they have, they made that public. Right. I forgot that they got a booklet out there. It's on the Klaus, website actually. Uh, Klaus, I forget, Klaus Schwab. Klaus Schwab, yeah. He's openly talking about it. Yep. Uh, we don't need a great reset. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it says, uh, because thou say, I am rich. Yeah, whatever rich is going to do when the, the economy is reset, when they do nothing. All them cars, all them riches, your bank accounts going to be zero. Yep. Or you're frozen. Hey, if, they, when they, if they do, uh, if, if the lights go out, you're not gonna be able to pull any money out to out to your bank. The ATM's gonna be shut down. The bank's gonna be shut down. And you ain't gonna be able to use your money for that anyway. Exactly. <laughs> Everything's gonna be shut down. Everything's gonna be shut so down. So even if you got money, shoebox money, all right, and then the gas or whatever, because you figure some people think they got gas, they got generators. <laughs> That's only gonna last but for so long. It burns up. And then then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have civil un unrest. Then you have to be worried about defending your your you're home. Be a target. Yeah. From, you know what I'm saying? From from all these the zombies. That's in uh, the yeah. apartment. Oh, you know, a yep. man shall invade another man's home for yeah. lack of bread. Lack of bread. Matter of fact, <laughs> hey, that's that's what that whole series Fear the Walking Dead is about. Yeah. You know, that that shit lasted for like eight, ten years, mm. and it, it, people were going all over, all over the entire United States. It was just in turmoil. Yep. It was a straight up zombie, zombie apocalypse. Yeah, that's 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 what's I'll, coming, man. I'll finish this while y'all get that. Okay. It says because thou sayest, I am rich and increase with goods, and have need of nothing. Yeah, in other words, you also have forget about the most high. The riches made you forget about the most high, forget about the work, right? Forget about the brotherhood. It says, um, because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and a lot of Negroes, the more riches they get, the less uh, charitable they become. You had to wonder, who's that guy? Um, he wrote up the Awashai, he said, look, I keep all that commandments. Um, he said, what is there left for me to do? And he said, look, yeah, sell all your goods and come and follow me. In other words, to be a, to have faith, right? But he couldn't do it. He walked away sad, you know? So a lot of these guys, the more riches they get, they get. that's why I was going to say, what, it's harder for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven right. than it for a camel to walk through the middle of because it's hard for you to let that stuff go, right? But it says, um, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. Why? Because we don't have this truth, right? So you sidestep the riches for the real riches, which is this truth, because this truth was Isaiah 33, all the depth and the riches of the knowledge of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 33 might be verse 16, I forgot. But this is what's going to deliver you in the day of evil, when all hell breaks loose. Is these riches are going to be able to buy you a ticket out of here? You need to get on the chariots to be out shot. Okay. Um, let me read this last verse. Verse 18. It says, "I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire." All right. And what is gold tried in the fire? That's re that's that re represents the men, the men who have gone through hell and hot water, right? Yeah, with, with this truth. With this truth. Because yes. remember, the scripture say the word of the Lord was. Uh, we're fine, we're fine in the fire with uh, 12, seven times? Seven times, uh, you gotta bring it up. Yeah, bring it in. Seven, seven, seven yep. times. But you said it earlier about um, 
about the fire of adversity, who made perfect through the fire of adversity. But it says, I constantly abide me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich. Right? Meaning what? Having his truth, his knowledge, and ultimately the kingdom of heaven. And white raiment, right? This knowledge, white raiment. That thou may be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Right? So when Yahweh Shai comes back for judgment day, we'll be, um, what does scripture say? Um, we are in Yahweh Shai. We are um, the preachers. No, no. In other words, we'll be exempt. I forgot the word that the scriptures uh, use. But um, we'll, we'll basically we'll be exempt, right? From the, from, the judgment. from the judgment. And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thy eyes with eye salve, right? So the eye salve what? When things get dark, the scriptures say how, and I, how everybody's going to grow up in this darkness. In other words, when they shut the lights off and all hell breaks loose and nobody knows what to do, which is pretty much right at that point now. Yeah, That's yeah. why I see people bug yeah. out walking in the middle of the highway and doing a bunch of other crazy shit. Yeah, wild because, wild. yeah, while and now they don't know where to turn because the news tells them to do one thing today and then tomorrow the news tells them to do something completely opposite. Mm -hmm. So they're completely confused what to do, right? But us, or the elect, that have the eye cell because our faith is, we're grounded in this truth. So we're looking at the prophecies, right? Um, Anoint thine eyes with eye salve, thou, thou mayest see. And uh, that's the main point right there. And he goes on, but uh, is uh, First Samuel two and eight. That there it is. He raises up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill. Right. Everything we're taught in this in this, in this world was the dust. Was all confusion. You know, everything we learned in the food system, everything he taught us was to keep us on the bottom. Right. Right? And the Lord's going to raise us up. And the Lord's going to raise us up. From the dunghill. We're, yeah. we're in the dunghill right now, man. With this knowledge, though, man. Yep. Through this knowledge, we're able to wake up out of the matrix. All right? Find out that we're the Israelites. We're not right. Negroes. Right. We're the Israelites. When you read the scriptures, they did everything in their power. They made movies, books, the whole internet, Google. You, it's all filled with false images. Right? Basically, there's no escape out of the lies, out of the covering, out of the trap. But through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he raised up out of that dust, out of the confusion. So now we know who we are. Now we know who the wicked is, who call themselves white, and call themselves Christians, and plastered their images as heroes and the people of the Bible all, all over school. Right? You were taught that by your mom, by your grandmother. It's all over the internet, it's all in the books, the libraries, everywhere in the bookstore. So the Most High raise up out of that, raise up up out of that confusion. We have now we know what our language is. It's not English, English, French, all this bullshit. It's Hebrew, the Lashmo Dash. You see, so we came out of that, we came out out of that confusion. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? God, that's a generic term. There's many gods, right? Right. And lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes. And to make them inherit the throne of glory. Throne of glory is what? Is again starting with his knowledge. His knowledge, because it's what did Yahweh Shai say to the disciples? He said, The kingdom of heaven is within you. Right? The kingdom of heaven is within you. That's right. So and it starts with right. his, it starts by having his knowledge. Okay. You know? hey, I got something real quick for you. This uh book of Hebrews. Hebrews uh Hebrews 11, I'm going to start at Hebrews 11, 6, I'm going to read through real quick. It's the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith Noah, being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet, moved with fear. So how are we supposed to move? With fear. With fear, right? Knowing the tear of the Lord be what? Persuade men. You persuade men, right? It says, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. So that's what we're doing right now. We're put, like, no, we're all preparing miniature arcs for, for each other, right? <clears throat> we're, we're, we're in that preparation state, man, for the flood. But this flood ain't going to be with water. It's going to be a flood of missiles, fire, right? It says, to the saving of his house, by the which it shown you that a man is responsible for his household. The woman is only going to make it out of here. They didn't say, oh, no, wife had to prepare herself. No, his daughters had to No, 
Noah prepared himself. She so she, she's not even mentioned she's in that. Mentioned. Right. But but you know, she was of his household. Yeah, right? yeah but no, so, her, so right, no, no, there's no words. point yeah, point yeah. made. Point yeah. made. But the point and the point, other point of it is that a man is responsible for the household. A man dictates the most size saves a man. And if you're part you happen to be with that man still, that's why it said if they continue. Right. Continue. Right? Because why? The Lord's gonna save the men. Right. And if you continue with that man, then you're part of this household that's gonna be saved. You see? You Ain't no your faith, charity, and yeah. right. All these talk, these bullshit. I'm a woman of God. I'm a woman of God. You're a woman of here, the God of this world, Satan. The God of flies. She's Satan's daughter. Yeah, Satan. <laughs> Get John Whimsy on her. But it says, it says, uh, by the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world. See? Just like what we're doing. That's right. Mark. It says, it became the heir of righteousness, which is by faith. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the heir of righteousness yeah. by faith. All right? The things that the, faith is a substance, the substance of things hoped for, the evidence, not seen. evidence of things not seen. So we are hoping, that's why we call ourselves a hopeful elect, mm -hmm. hoping to make it. We know we're all going to end up in the kingdom of heaven, right? Because that's the promise of his life. But we're hoping to be a part of the elect. So when the meeting when Yahweh Shai comes, leave out of here when Yahweh Shai and the chariots. That's our hope, and this is why we do this work, right? <clears throat> Based upon faith. We don't know if we're going to make it or not. Right. We have no idea. We have no idea if we're going to make it or not. Right. So we're hoping to be saved, and we do what we can to the best of our ability through the spirit and the strength of Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai, right? Because you can't do it without him. It's not up to us um, to be part of the elect. Right? But it's, the faith is our main thing, faith. That's right. It says, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whether he went. It's like what the elder is saying. Right? Oh, hold on. That's, that's that. Right? So it says, uh, that? verse 9. Right? So it says, by faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which have foundations whose builder and maker is the most high. Same thing with us, which is what? The kingdom, the kingdom. man. It ain't talking about this fucking wicked, filthy, nasty ass place, the most high. This spirit has nothing to do with this, man. That's why Yahweh Shai said, he that cometh after me, who has nothing in me, meaning Satan. Satan gave Esau, the so-called white man, the power to rule in his time because this is his time that he was given. This is not the most, this ain't the kingdom of heaven. You got a lot of stupid ass people that still think that, man. Yeah, it's, not, it's not the kingdom, but it says, through faith. That's oh, so like, no, just where my kingdom, my servants will fight. Right, well, that's, what, that's right, that's right. Because Esau, that, that proved that, because you had that, that uh, old, you know, that old fool, Lahab, He's a, he's a wicked ass nigga, man. He's sitting up there just teaching all this abomination. Hey, y'all just fucked up that one. Right? What's going on now? He's sitting there saying Esau's going to overtake it in the kingdom. They're going to rebel out of slavery. And that's how you know the oil is not us. Because you just quote the scripture. Yahweh Shai said, if this was my kingdom, then. So that's going to be Yahweh Shai's kingdom. So ain't no way in hell. Esau is going to be able to rebel. Daniel 7, it says to the Most High shall take the kingdom and shall possess it forever, forever, even forever. Even forever. What the hell does that mean? See? But now I read it on. It said, through faith also, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised, which through her husband, because remember, she laughed. She like sort of doubted the angel, right? She, you know how these women are, they sarcastic and everything. Especially like, a, that's where the Benjamin, the Benjamin women get that sarcasm shit. You know, I'm gonna have a baby, I'm, a, I'm an old lady and I'm gonna have a baby, yeah, right? You know, let's say some slick shit. Then she, boom, she got pregnant, all right? And then the son's name was Laughter. And the son's name was Isaac, was Laughter. But because she was with a man of the Lord, the Most High had honor on her by her having faith in Abraham. And as she called Abraham Lord. It says, therefore sprang there even of one in him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the sea, seashore innumerable, because what? Isaac came what? Jacob, 
Jacob came to 12 tribes who are what now, as the sand of the sea, innumerable. It says, these all died in faith, not having received the promises. So you don't sit there and say, oh, Isaac was a fool, Jacob was a, no, they, they counted blessed. They counted as the fathers of the promises. And the kingdom of heaven has not been established yet. But guess what? There's a, that which proves that there is a thing of reincarnation. But the most high said he's not unrighteous to forget your uh, works of love. So they showed love and having faith and trusting in the most high. You gonna tell me they're not gonna be in the kingdom? That's reincarnation, man. All right. It says these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, right, of their faith, and how the most high blessed them. It said and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. So what are we today? The same thing. We're strangers and pilgrims on the earth, man. All right, so that's why Yahweh Shai said, what? The son of man have no place to, to lay his, his head. So that's why I said they that own is that they own not. Because here it is, you can have a house or apartment or a spot to chill, and then the next day you on the run, or you gotta you might have to go into the woods, you might have to go down south with other brothers, up north with other brothers, or brothers might have to go, you know, on the road again. On the road again, man. The scriptures say be ye pilgrims on the earth. These are the, the preparations you got to put in your mind because it's, it's not a game out here. Things are not going back to normal, man. It's not going back to normal. The so-called white man is not going to help you, man. And he's not going to let this. And he's not going to let this opportunity go, man. He got you dummies right where the fuck he wants you, man. And the Lord, the Lord's allowing him to come down as a roaring light, man. He got that. The horns are out. The Lord said, "The devil in these times." He's going to come out like a roaring lion. Roaring lion. And, and, and that's what, what the brothers are mentioning as a part of his roar. Yeah. And there's more roar to come before he's taking the fuck up out of here, man. That's right. That's what, that's what it is. Yeah, he's the modern day Pharaoh. That's right. So the Lord's high That's right. All right, it says, For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they have been mindful of that country from which they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly, wherefore the Most High is not ashamed to be called their power, for we have prepared for them a city. And a city that's why you go into Revelation 24 to 22, New Jerusalem come, coming from out of heaven. John, my father's house. Yep, John 14. All right, yep. The old Jerusalem, Isaiah. So that's that city that the Lord got prepared for us, man. So it's got, like the, the bitch of the I have done said, we're Israelites, so just on that alone, we're going to be in the kingdom. But you want to be the ones that are delivered. You want to be a, of that first that first trip, so to speak. You don't want to have to die here through the destruction, you know, like the, the, with the rest of these wicked ass niggas with these Edomites and all that. You know, you want to make it when you have a side club. You want to be delivered, especially after suffering. Going through all, the, you know, going through so much sufferings that we went through, just for you, what? To just not make it. So that's why you got to continue to push. You got to continue to push on. All right. But um, that, I mean, that was the main point. I mean, of course, the whole ch chapter, you know, goes uh, goes hard. But that was just the main point about that city to be in the kingdom, you know. And that's what this fight is for. This ain't a thing of us trying to come out here and justify ourselves or, or, or uh, it's not about us, man. Even though the Most High said it's of His good pleasure to give us his, his, the kingdom, but it's about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Because Yahweh Shai got to get his props, man. And when when Yahweh Shai come back, man, it's gonna be game over, man. All you niggas that had a problem with the Lord, man, or all you niggas that call yourself Israelites in Old Testament, you don't believe in Yahweh Shai. All you simple, stupid ass Muslims, or oh, I don't believe in no man being a savior. Okay, the Most High gonna get at you, man. He gonna send you how it's signed to uh, kept, uh, fly your head, basically, man. Okay, and that's in the scriptures too. Uh, Luke 19 and 27. All right, tells you that. They're gonna use his sword, the wicked, which is his sword, to get at you. Uh, how about that? He gonna he, he, he gonna unleash the cracking on your ass, the so-called <laughs> yeah, white man, yeah. which is being unleashed right now. That's what we've been talking about all all <clears throat> We've been talking about this devil. The Lord really unleashing this devil on you. Revelations 12 and 12. Can we, can we read that? Yes, sir. Revelations 12. Because Revelation 12, it breaks it down. We've been talking about how this man is going to show his horns. And he's showing his horns right now. 
we, we were breaking it down earlier, dealing with the living situation. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you motherfuckers, you already have all the money in the world. You have the control of everything. Yet, you still want more. You literally want to control people's soul. You want to control a person's soul, and the soul belongs to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The soul belongs to the Most High that sent it. No, you can't have our soul. You got these earthly possessions, you got possession of the earth right now, but no, you can't have our soul. That belongs to the Heavenly Father. And that's what you devils are working for. You want total control of every act. You even want to control people's minds. Which you have control of the minds of the people already anyway. You got that? Yeah. And, and just for the for the record, man, they already got Beyonce soul. All right? Yeah. <laughs> so don't, 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 don't worry about all you old watch the polls singing that Beyonce. You won't break my soul. You won't that new whack ass record. But for for the record, they already got your soul. You know sold out. Of course. <laughs> that was just a little side note. It's a uh, Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Yeah. See, playtime is over, man. Right. Just, you gotta live it up, man. And it's all live it up, live it up. You yeah. gotta live it up now because guess what? The so-called white man is about to turn on you, and the most high gonna let him get you, man. Yeah. Just like how during our slavery, man. You see, but he, he saw gonna pay for that too. He still got to see, he still got a lot to pay for, but again, quoting what the elder quoted, the wicked which is thy sword, right? All right? The most high gonna use them, just like in the days of slavery, he was hanging you niggas. They hung a nigga not too long ago, like a, a week or two ago. Mm -hmm. Big ex military nigga, man. Mm -hmm. And they, they wouldn't uh, let his woman, I mean, his mother uh, identify the body. He said he committed suicide. And then I, I can't even find the story on, online no more. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. Yeah. So it says, but hey, they, they, they just shot up another nigga. And see, this become. So now, wait a minute. And this is the, the bullshit. I'm sorry, Slocky. I, I know you bring that out. But this is the bullshit, right? They just uh, overturned that road, ver road versus Wade last week, right? You had all these different stupid ass riots. You had all these stupid feminists, these lesbian, stupid, dumbass bitches all complaining. That's right. Do you agree? They had all these people complaining about it, right? Yeah. But nobody's in outrage over a nigga getting shot with 30, 30 bullets from the cops in Africa. Yeah. Over, over six, I think, I think it was 60 bullets that hit him. Yeah. It might have been 60 bullets and it, and, and it was 90 shots. 90, yes. Yeah. It yeah. was 90 shots and 60 bullets. They riddled a nigga with 60 bullets. Yeah. And nobody's sitting there in the uproar, man. It should have been a goddamn a, 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 a rebellion all statewide, man. If y'all was really about something, man. What are you niggas talking about? Black Lives Matter, man? Yeah. The one that the police, what them niggas is targeting you niggas, man? Hey. They targeted 60 goddamn shots. That's right. Hey, yes. but you know what, though? 90 shots. They're not 60 hit the niggas. Yeah. They're, not, they're, they're, they're not outraged because, hey, he was aborted. He was aborted his ass. Yeah. You know? And, and guess what? More of you niggas out there going to be aborted, man. Right. But, but you niggas yeah. just sit there and jump up about some goddamn road versus wave. You sit there, bitches, oh my God, this is, this is a, a, a national morning day. We, we, we done came so far. Look, the ride is over, you stupid sluts, man. Yeah. Wait a minute, you're mourning because you can't, because you can't fucking kill your baby? Yeah. Because you can't murder your baby? You fucking baby killing low life, disgusting ass, slimy fucking hoe. That's right, man. You can't, because you can't kill your baby. Ride up, you I'm at ease, man. Oh my goodness, man. And that's why this scripture we're reading, this scripture is going to go into uh, the degradation that's about to come upon all of your asses. Hey, but, but chiefly, the women of the house of Israel. Yeah. Hey, but, uh, hey, just to add what you're saying, they're going to be aborted. The Lord's going to abort oh, yeah. Yeah. you. You're about to be yeah, aborted. Cool. By, the, the serpent is about to abort yeah. you now. I got, right. I got the abortion scripture. Go ahead. Ezekiel, no, Ezekiel, no, Ezekiel, no, Ezekiel 21 and 8. It says, again, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, <coughs> Say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. You gotta look at furbished. A sword is sharpened and also furbished. Which is what the destruction is coming to you. Right. The Lord, all that hell and pain and destruction and death. 
They kill it. Famine. Famine. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord got that sharp. That's man. that's all the sword. That's, that's all the sharp in the sword. It's, gl yep. it's glittering. The a and out. the actual sword yeah. too. God, Go check it for It says to give a fresh look. So that that, that 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 sword is fresh. Right. It's yep. glistening. Yeah. Bro, it's shiny. Yeah, it's because you, you know what? Because Jack, I'm gonna say this too. These niggas is wicked as all hell, but they're still the most size people, man. Yeah. Even though even though the most size used Esau to kill these niggas, they still got it. They got you got blood on your That's hands, man. Yeah. You know? Cause hey, the Lord say he that touches you touches the apple of my eye. They still Israelites, man. That's right. All right. And, and how many niggas that you you eat them might done killed, man? All right. Cold blood. It's to this day. Yes. To this day. So furbish means to brighten up a weapon by polishing it. Look at that, man. Most high got some brand. He's gonna. He, in other words, he's gonna sharp. He got Esau sharpened to a edge. Yeah, to an edge, right? So it says, um, "Son of man, prophesying, prophesying, say, thus saith the Lord: Say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. A sore slaughter is coming. You know, a lot of you wonder, well, where, where we gonna be able to live?" They're going up on, on the price of the rent. Where are we going to be able to live? You ain't going to live nowhere. You, you ain't going to live nowhere. You're going to be in the got in the, in the damn street, in, in, in a hole. That's where you're going to be. The sword is sharpened. All right, yeah. <laughs> it says, it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. A sore slaughter is coming. Hey, hey, 60 bullets, that's a sword, sword slaughter. Yeah, that's man. a sword slaughter. That's a sword slaughter, man. Hey, let me, let me just read some. But I mean, hey, that's the most I judge on a nigga. Yeah. All right? That's, hey, that's what, you know, being a nigga, that's the Lord's judge overall. You know what I'm saying? But, but let me just read this just to show you that this is, hey, the most I got Esau on a, a straight up mission, man, like Terminators, man. All right? It says, the autopsy revealed a man struck a dozen times by a barrage of more than 90 shots. Fire brought by police officers following a chase early Monday, right? It says, uh, and they got it on camera too. You see, they released it, right? But now this part right here, let me see this part right here. It says, uh, using a public records law that provides access, it said they viewed a photo of the, his name was Walker, right? Jalen Walker, bullet riddled body, along with the dozens of bullet fragments removed during the autopsy. It, it, uh, it says, However, the photos provided confirm that what police sources previously told eight officers fired more than 90 shots, causing more than 60 wounds to Walker's body, right? It says, including about 150 photos of Walker's wounds and about 60 photos of the fragments, a large majority of the wounds were to the front of Walker's body. Wounds could be seen from his face down to his lower legs. All right? Face up, they lit him up they, face they, up. They lit him up from the front. They shot him off, his face lit him face up down. all the way down. All right? And then they said that, I guess they said he was on a chase and he shot one shot at them when they found him. You know, of course, they're going to try to say they're going to plant gun, yeah. but, but they're going to get, what the thing is, they can't see the most sides happen. It's happened too, to where they can't sweep a lot of shit under the rug like they used to. Before, they were playing a gun on a nigga, right. playing some drugs on a nigga. But now, with, with, and that's the most side having these uh, big right. brothers. Uh, what is it, Big Brother, that, uh, that New World Order shit where they got cameras everywhere? Yeah. Yeah. That's backfiring on a lot of these devils too because a lot of them getting caught red-handed. Right. Oh, the, internet, the, the, the internet itself is backfiring on their asses. Yeah. yeah. They wish they never put it up. Oh, yeah. Right. The Lord is the one that put it in your mind to put it up. See, you don't control things, Whitey. <laughs> Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai controls things. Like Even you. That's yes, right. And it says, uh, it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. A it sore is, slaughter. Mm. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right now, a lot of dudes, a lot of you Negroes and Hispanics and the other tribes are in a party mode, celebrating the day that Esau took all y'all asses down, Fourth of, Fourth of July. You got niggas talking about Happy Fourth. They, yeah. they was hanging you during the Fourth. Yeah. The Fourth, wait, the, wait. The original Fourth, back then, the 17th, the hundred, while they were celebrating this shit, y'all was, y'all had a picnic. There was no day off to so pick they, cotton. They drinking mint julep. Mint julep. Yeah. There was no day off for you from iced tea and mint from, um, There was no day off from you from, 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 from dealing with the tobacco. Yeah, boy. 
picking fucking um cane, picking tobacco, 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 All right. tobacco picking cotton. Yeah, it's not bread. It's not the day they subdue your world. And, and you dummies just got them celebrating Juneteenth, which you wasn't free then, then too, nigga. Yeah, right, they lied to you, man. You were never free, man. That's right. You're still in slavery to this day. How the hell? Oh my God, freedom. That's why the slaves. And if you hear like it is fucked up, you hear like they got recordings of some of them niggas that was alive at that time. Man, they sound so defeated, man. They sound like, oh, this is why I was celebrated, and then we ain't even know, master, they ain't tell us that this plantation until six months later, and, then, and uh, you know, we were sitting there picking corn and this and that, and so much of black folk, we, 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 we did, did celebrate that day. You're like, damn, what the fuck is wrong with these niggas, man? These saw fucked them niggas up, so they were so happy for nothing, man. Yeah. And then when the July 4th, which marks the day of them fucking putting more hell upon you, all right, and then them uh, set up their demonic shit se uh, separating from Britain. They got you niggas celebrating like it was a good thing for you. No, it wasn't. You was in slavery. slavery. You was in hardcore, and you're still in slavery, man. In hardcore slavery. Hardcore slavery, like man. Like the brother said, when the so-called uh, uh, Emancipation Proclamation, and then that two years later with the Juneteenth bullshit. Mm -hmm. Then after that, oh, then it really went, it really went crazy. It really went awry. Because after that, when you so-called got your freedom, the, the local white people was like, yo, yep. yep. gosh, no, gosh, no. These niggas, these niggas fit to go to the voting booth and go vote. So these niggas going, these fit, these niggas fit to go vote. So then they said, ah, nah, get the rope, Z. That's when the Ku Klux Klan came about. That's when it came about because the Ku Klux Klan was yep. formed right as, as soon as you were emancipated to run your fucking asses away from them voting booths. And guess what? To keep you out of there. That same government that lied and so-called emancipated you, they were where the uh, KKK came from, man. Yes. yes. All right? And then what they did too, and that's when you had those mortals. That's why you still had slave rebellions going into the 1900s and everything. That's right. All right? That's when you had Denmark, B.C., all right, which is, I don't know if y'all brothers saw the movie yet, right? The Denmark BC movie. Yeah. Pastor Kaya put me on to it. The old one? Uh, the, the old one. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, but, man, um, my man put the, the uh, what's Ruben. What's his name? What's his name? Oh, he's a Ruben. No, he's a Ruben. The guy who played BC, I think he's a Ruben. The dude, y'all say he look like me and Dean. Uh, um, oh, yeah, yeah, Cody. Cody. Oh, yeah, 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 Cody. yeah, 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 yeah. You had these fucking crackers, and that, that was the spirit that was going on back then. Mm -hmm. Right? Because they were like, oh my God, I can't believe that they did this, man. Oh, wow, we're just going to have, for their own good, we're just going to have to be even better slave masters. We're going to have to be even more tight on them. They put, so from that point, because those rebellions was happening too, mm -hmm. right? Those rebellions wouldn't have been happening if we were free. All right? It was a reason why they were still slick. Because you had Jake's that was awoke, that was reading the scriptures, that knew that we were Israelites. Because even in that movie, it told me, he, uh, he, was, he knew how to read. He was reading, that, he was reading the Bible. Bible. Yeah, I remember the then he read the scripture, about, uh, I think, with Moses, uh, let my people free. And it's funny. That's not going to be the country. Yeah. But it's funny how they always, when you from from old Jake movies, yeah. they always go to them scriptures. You but, know? but he broke it down. Yeah. So he asked, he said, well, why yeah. did you read? He said, well, I think it's because the Hebrews were in slavery like we're in slavery. Now, mm -hmm. showing you that. Jake was putting two and two together. We're the right. same Hebrew Israelites, like Moses and the rest of the Israelites. So that's why they was raising hell. And they started, like the, the bishop said, they started going on a rampage for the, those niggas that were actually uh, uh, let off the plantations or whatever. A lot of them ain't make it too far, man. And then the ones that, that didn't make it far, they made sure that they had nothing, dirt poor. Right. So what they became was an employee to the same slave master, right? Which, which is called the sharecropping system. Which is the same shit. The same thing is too. You got that documentary, the Thirteenth Amendment. Because what mm -hmm. they were doing, that's where you get the movie Life with Eddie Murphy and uh, Martin Lawrence. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they was going back during that time that they were just doing chump charges on Jake, and putting him in game. jail for life, and, free and labor then they put him in a slave yep. chain gang. Slave. You know? Put you in the chain gang, yep. and then and then dump you off because now when now that the slaves were so called let free. That's what the 13th Amendment came about to really put you back in slavery yep. without saying you're a slave. Right. Basically, you become property of the state because they, they, they drop a charge on you, you become property of the state. Mm -hmm. At the same time when that happened, the the uh, the, the men on the plantation, uh, who, who, who were they, the, uh, the, overseers. the overseers of the plantation turned into becoming the patty rollers. Right. Yep. They became the patty rollers that were what? 
going out there and fucking Jacob. Yep. So called going after the, going, going after loose slaves, yep. Yep. so that's that happened after that. After this is after the Civil War. Then you had Reconstruction, because the South was all tore up. So then you had the Reconstruction. Then redlining. Then the redlining came where no nigger can't buy no get no land in this area. That's called redlining. They they did that heavy. That that was done heavy in Minnesota, all, all over the United States. But Minnesota, like that's where Prince is from. He's from uh, Minnesota, especially in Minnesota, they can set that red line like toward Boom. Yeah. You know, yep. That's why you got, this is Psalms 4 and 2. It said, O ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing? Oh, man, yeah. check this out. <laughs> yep. and I got another one to go right with you. Limitations, one in, uh, I'll start the first verse, points in the third. It says, how doth the city sit solitary that was full of people? How has she become as a widow? She that great among the nations and princes among the provinces, how has she become tributary? Right yeah. now we're what? So, tributary. About our people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. our, our people is we became tributaries. tributary. Like you were going into the sharecropping, that right. would be a tributary. Mm -hmm. All right, you're free, but now you got to work. And then when they were doing that sharecropping, they were getting gypped. Right. Mm -hmm. And they made it to where they, they was chasing their tail, basically. Like they, they might turn up just enough money, but they ain't got enough money to pay the landlord. Yep. So they had to work more and more and give them more. Get like a loan. They had to get loans. Right. Just yeah, get they get loan because, on. because the whole idea was just like you niggas today trying to right. get that American dream. Right. Work enough to share cropping to get my own shit and have my own land and do my own shit. It you, didn't happen. You, you never owe nothing, man. To the, to the yeah. landlord. You never and, and that's why yeah. too, which we spoke about it earlier, which I think it was mm -hmm. order order number fifteen, mm -hmm. which was the forty acres and the, and the two mules mm -hmm. that they overturned. They said, okay, we're gonna give you forty acres and two mules right. and everything. That's right. right? But then they said no. Then they said no. I'm trying to get the other the devil that uh that overturned it down there. But they overturned it and they said, nah, I said ain't no nigga or no black free man gonna be owning land and, and he's not gonna be able to get no help from the, the, the state or whatever because they knew that if they let them off the plantation and they don't have, have they made sure they stripped them and they didn't have shit. They have so if they have nothing, you know, now they can't even go to get a, a loan or nothing like that. Now they gotta be what? They gotta go back and go back to what they know. Be yeah. slaves again. Yeah. So it was a again. big it was a big setup all across the board and it, it's different facets of it because at that point they had so many millions of Jakes over here, the few uh Gad and Hooper you know, Rubenites that they did enslave, because a lot of them, they couldn't enslave the, the, most of the Indians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breaking news. breaking news. Y'all got the news flash yesterday on the news? Which one? They want to get rid of the word slavery. We weren't in slavery. We were misplaced. Well, that, well, that, 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 goes, that goes back to a few years ago when they said it was going to replace it with um, immigrants or, or, or migrants. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they said they're going to take it out of the school books, take right. that word slavery out of the school books. Yeah. The teacher, they said they, they migrated over here. They, yeah. Yeah. They wanted to be with they wanted to get their backs with so, they wanted to get castrated. hung from a, a, a street. They wanted to get burnt at a picnic yep. and no, hung. So this devil this, this devil is the boy. We never existed and slavery never existed and you know. But the reason why they're doing it because it's truth is smacking the shit out of That's them, right. man. That's right. It's punching them up. Because you can't deny you got you got motherfucking crackers, man, that are sitting there it's in their face and they acknowledge it. You got the descendants of these slaves, which all you see the mics that are out there are descendants. Uh, these these uh, slave owners. That's why uh, Isaiah 14, 21 says what it says. Yeah. Well, you got to pick up the bill, but you got a lot of these Edomites that's coming in. They're saying, yep, we had 400 uh, slaves on our plantation here. They got relics. Yeah. 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 When you look at the laws, yeah. you look at the museums. The yeah. They got the Yeah, that's what uh, Goodbye Uncle Tom is so uh, profound mm -hmm. because they was using actual logs. Oh, and we, we got to get back to this too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Isaiah 26, 21. It says, for behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to, to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more. For well, the blood, what, what blood? Yep. Right? Remember how America was established through blood. It was a bloodbath, man. Mm -hmm. Rape, robbing, and murder. All right? They murdered Gad and Reuben, the Native American Indians, man. So-called Native American Indians. And they sat there and destroyed their whole culture. They, they poisoned them. They gave them all type of diseases, man. All right, and then they're still doing it to this day. The little bit of land that they keep, every time they say, okay, you can have this part of the land. They say, oh, nope, we need that. Give me give me that back. Yep. All right, we'll give you a little res over here. Yep. Nope, nope give, give us that back. We'll just put you over there out there in the swamp, and then, then they'll sit there and send all the waste and poison the water supply, so now they all fucked up. This is what this devil was doing to the, to the Indian tribes. 
so-called Indian tribe. Then they got Judah, Benjamin, and Levi over here, man. And man, they put holy hell upon them, man. They were sitting there butt, butt breaking the men, raping the men, right, trying to, uh, what, what do you call that? De not dehumanize them. Um, yeah, demasculate them on all levels. So there would be no more rebellion. They were sitting there, like the brother said, they were castrating Jacob. Of course, they were jealous. The rods was dangling all over the place, and they white women, you know, while they were sipping on that mint julep, wanted to sip on something else. You see? So they, they he saw ain't like that shit. So he's like, he said, now nah, we're going oh no, come over here, boy. We're gonna check, you know? Yeah. That's what was happening, man. Go ahead, brother. That was, that was it. Okay, so I I'll just read this it's a couple of verses. And I'll let you come in with yours. So this is back. It says, um, how will she become tributary? It says she weepeth sore in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks, speaking about our people, the nation of Israel during the slave period. Even to this day, actually. Among all her lovers, she hath none to comfort her. Out of all these other nations that our people went whoring after their gods, none of them, even to this day. So that's why this thing is going to be heavy, man, because a lot of you people, niggas, are used to going to the government to bail them out when they catch hell. Right. Remember that bitch, uh, Bima, Bima? Where's Bima? Yeah. That black chick, Bima, out, right? Yeah. Remember that, right? Bima. Right? You got niggas all saying, look, you got to be something that the, gov the government is about to cut you completely off, man. They don't cut you off, man. And they know that your jobs are you're losing jobs. They know that the rent is too damn high. And they don't give a damn. That's that pressure from above, pressure from beneath. That's right. Yeah. When the economy crashes, there's not going to be no money for welfare. Yeah. Yeah. People who got their uh -huh. pensions are going to be gone. Yeah, All these people who have their nice police, mm -hmm. uh, firefighter jobs, when the, the pensions are empty, mm -hmm. you can't get nothing. Can't get nothing. It says, All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. Yeah, your, your buddy, the so-called white man, man. Yeah. Oh, you're going to go to these, these Hamites, right? Yeah, we're all black. My brother, my brother. Get out of here, brother. You're not my brother. You lazy black nigga. Fuck you, lazy black niggas. <laughs> you know, that's, see, most of them, they're going back to, they ain't thinking about bringing you back to Africa, man. And then some of them is Jakes, too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? But it said all her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They are become her enemies. Now the devil, like, that was the quote of Revelation 12 and 12. You see them horns rearing. Right. It says Judah is gone into captivity because of affliction. All right, and they want to put you, literally put Jake back in the shackles and handcuffs. Right. Say it again. No. Well, really, Jake, really, they want to put him in shackles. The ones that's remaining, but they yeah. really want to do the great color. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah, need yeah. Jake no more. I watched in the news the other day, yeah. and they got the the the, the car, the, the driverless cars. No, they was in there and it was yo. It stopped at the light. Yeah. It was driving good as hell. They don't need they don't need uh, Jake to do fast food no more. So yeah, no, no. they don't need for nothing. Was that movie Wag the Dog? Oh no, the spook that sat by the door. That's a heavy movie. His brothers never watched it. Oh, yeah. They said you watched that movie, but they was talking. Jake was trying to um, rebel against the system and started shooting out in the cities. And they're like, hold on, what do we need these Negroes for? It's like, oh, you know, they do all the shit jobs. Um, um, sanitation, rugs, sanitation, everything transportation else. Transportation, buses, and all that. Yeah. yeah, so we need them for that. Other than that, they said, what need, what, what use do we have for these niggas? That's right. Yeah. So it said, Judah has gone into captivity because of affliction and because of great servitude. She dwells among the heathen. She findeth no rest. All her persecutors overtook her between the straits. Stra oh, yeah, yeah. Sharecroppers, everything. They took every last thing. There's no more black farmers. You know, there's no more nothing, man. They, and with this uh, whole thing, what they're doing with the economy too, with the uh, with the money system, making everything uh, digital currency and so forth and so on, what that's going to do is eliminate the uh, sole proprietor, sole proprietors, the uh, the people that have the LLC, the contractors, people that own their own business, private doctors' office and everything. That's going to destroy all of that. To whereas even they're going to feel the pinch because you had these doctors that was able to write, you know, a. Uh, uh, Twenty thousand dollars for a, 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 a surgery. Now they're gonna have to be regulated by the government. No, we want you to do it for five thousand right. dollars. Right. A lot of them doctors, doctors, lawyers, have high-paying jobs. Them motherfuckers, they still paying their student loans. They in the hole. Yeah, yeah. They ain't financially free. That's the webs, well, man. America is full of, of of traps and webs, man. You know, they they stick. They make you go to school, get caught in the debt there. Then now you can't find a job for what you went to school for, but the interest rates and, and, and the, uh, what do you call that? Interest rate keeps going. The interest rate keeps going, and um, when it keeps piling up, uh, compound interest. The compound interest and everything. Hey, yeah. Uh, and the, the back of the one dollar, the dollar bill is a whip. 
That's right. Showing you it's a trap. Man. It's a trap. This thing was all by design, man. All right? But the Most High allowed these devils to do it. But now the Most High is shaking up. They, this is the part where they, Esau's going to get fucked up because things are happening outside of his control. Primarily, all these different chariot sightings, man. The so-called UFOs. So, see, the Most High got Esau in the trick bag as well. Remember that in what was that, Job 12, 12 and 16, the deceived and the deceiver are his? The Lord got Esau in the trick bag too. So Esau ain't he ain't gonna ride off into the sunset, man. You still gotta deal with the angels, man. And the Lord got the they showing they showing they they muscle, the most high flexing his muscles, man. They showing you glimpses of the power that they have that you about to get into the ring with, man. Like, sure like, in, like in like in Maccabees with Heliodorus. Yeah. Yeah. The scripture says for 40 days, the angels was just yeah. doing maneuvers. War and they seen it. Well, that's what's going on. That's, that's heaven. The, the angels that's is, heaven. is doing maneuvers and showing you yeah. that your arms is too short to shot. box with the, the living power. High. That's right. That's right. That's what the most high is showing you. Warning just shots. like in, in Maccabees. That's heavy, man. So it's that oh, oh, oh. Okay. It's okay. the priesthood with the chariots. Okay. Nah. This is um, Exodus, I go from 23 to 24. It says, that, And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them in the midst of the sea, <coughs> even all feral horses and chariots and his horsemen, bringing out what was uh, being delivered out of Egypt. <coughs> Pharaoh woke up and said, Hell with them. Go get them Hebrews back and bring them back in slavery. And just like America, ancient Egypt prospered, right? And it said, And it came to pass in that morning, in the morning watch, the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire, and the cloud troubled the host of the Egyptians. That's right. It took off their chariot wheels, and that they dragged them heavily, so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord <laughs> fighteth for them Woo! against the Egyptians. Whoa. That was the chariots, <laughs> and they were precise, yeah, yeah, knocking yeah. off the wheels. That's heavy, man. Yeah. Hey, so you, you <laughs> devils, man, y'all y'all done, man. That's why we're not worried about so yeah, y'all got these guns, weapons, right? But these y'all ain't got that. Y'all ain't got that. You say you need weapons. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. But that toys, man. That's why that prophecy in Daniels was said Michael the Archangel should stand up for his people. The children, not people. Yeah, 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 you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we protect it, man. We Psalms 91. We protect it. See, we we we're, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Again, this is the work of the Lord. And and, and trust me, this is work, man. It's a labor of love, man. But it's, you know, when you're doing something that you love to do, and it's kind of not like work. You know, so it becomes first nature. But now back back to, uh, it says, uh, Judah's going into captivity because of affliction. And that's because of affliction and because of great servitude. She dwelleth among the heathen. She findeth no rest. All her persecutors overtook her between the straits. In Ezekiel, yeah. in the book of Ezekiel, it said the heathen should, the Lord said the heathen shall know that the house of Israel was in cap captivity because they sinned against me. Not because you were so great, not because right. you, you were the chosen. Right. It was a punishment from the Lord. And you can ask any pork chop pre uh, preacher, uh -huh. why did we go to slavery? We're the greatest at cooking, inventing things. Yeah. We're yeah. the greatest people, and they can never answer it. Yeah, that's true. No, 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 you know what they'll say? It's because of the curse of Ham. Yeah, 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 Because of that curse yeah. of Ham. Well, ready, the curse fell upon Canaan, not Ham. Yeah, that's why the most shy. Yeah, so, so they'll attribute it to that. These simple yeah. ass preachers, man, which a lot of them, they've been watching our videos and trying to. Yeah. But the, the thing is, the Spirit of the Lord got to be with you. See, the way we're, the apostles on down, and all the brothers at Great Millstone, the men that you see out here teaching this word, the reason why we're able to teach and break down the scriptures the way that we are, all right, is because the Spirit of your Yahweh Shia was with us. So y'all can sit there and watch and try to copycat. It's not going to work. You got a lot of niggas now starting different ministries. You got all kind of, and you still got the other niggas, uh, uh, creep show, uh, TV fakes, uh, uh, um, Chino Jennings, that, yeah, that, Gino nut, Jennings. that dude is a uh, nut, man. Sergeant uh, Waters. He is, but he is, yeah, Sergeant, Sergeant Waters. Waters. Yeah. 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 Niggas call me Sergeant Waters. I don't sound like him. No, no, no. <laughs> he ain't said that. He said, I don't know who the hell that is. Wait, wait, from a movie or something? What nigga ain't seen yeah, Soldier Story? Yeah, 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 yeah. What nigga ain't seen Soldier Story? But anyway. Yeah. Hey, that, that well, one got an autographed hey, picture in his office. He, 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 he done knocked out every demon in the world, according to that nigga. Yeah. See, he came up me with a knife. I yeah, said, yeah, yeah. You, you see him? He fighting the demons. I, 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 I said that so jekyll and hit him. 
I do the club. See, I, I wasn't ready to die. I'm not gonna lie. I that wasn't ready to die. That dude, that dude was a circus. That dude was a circus club. I see why you see what you say that, man. I'm glad that I'm watching that dude, man. Hey, but them, them nuts, y'all can't, the most size not with y'all, man. I mean, y'all can do all that. It's comical. I mean, I laugh at that. I actually laugh at that nigga. He's comical. I'm watching like watching WWE. That's basically what it is, but the Lord is not with y'all. And then, yeah, y'all got y'all congregations, but remember, Matthew the seventh chapter. Broad is the way that leadeth into destruction, man. You see? So we ain't worried about none of that. But y'all dudes are a bunch of comedians that the most size about to pull off the stage, man. All right, but now oh, my brother did a video the other day, um, I'm the one the bar, talking about how the, the belief in God is at an all-time low in this in this world. Because yeah, yeah, that, it's a, he had a, they had a nice article or whatever because of the way them pork chop preachers have been trying to teach about mm -hmm. the most high. He's all love, his love. Yeah, come with your rainbow. Shit. Yeah, come and with then, your then, rainbow. Then on top of it, a lot of them preachers and stuff are now turning into a bunch of faggots anyway. Every church is involved with the LQTB or all, the, all that nasty alphabet people, man. Right? You got all these churches that are involved with it, man. You got people with houses and church. They got the fucking flags. Yeah, it's everywhere you go, man. Yeah. Right? Because of that 501c3. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's right. That's bribery. Yeah. When you read the scriptures, the Lord said he doesn't deal with a man that's yeah. that got take bribes over anything. And, and that's making a that's making him your God. That's right. That's the scripture right. says you're gonna hate love one and hate the other. Yep, man. Right? So so that they, they clearly they hate the Heavenly Father. All these churches out here, they all hate the Heavenly Father. Ain't none of these churches. Righteous, man. Now, there could be some elect people in there, then the Lord is going to bring them up out of there if that be the case. All right? But the, all these, well, first of all, they got the 501c3 charter like the brother said. All right? So who, who had the scripture? Who had, all right, so I'm, I'm going to finish reading back on there. So it says, uh, the ways of Zion do mourn because none come to the solemn feast. All the gates are desolate, her priests sigh, her virgins are afflicted, and she is in bitterness, talking about the hell our people went through that Esau's trying to just sweep under the rug. Nobody gives a shit. Right? It said her adversaries are the chief. Her enemies prosper. Yeah. So who, who got rich at the downfall of us? All right? Slave, who got rich during that whole slave trade? That was a very lucrative business, man. You got a lot of families that are established based off of slave trade. Free labor. Free, free labor. And wait a minute, it, it, it's, it goes deep. Just like wars create money, right? Slavery creates money because you need ships, especially at that time. How are we gonna get? How are we gonna get these niggers over from Africa and, and Europe and other parts of wherever they at? How are we gonna get them over here? So okay, I got our hook nose. Well, we got these ships that we just stole. I mean, we just purchased, right? And then so they they started. We gonna charge this much? It was it was it costed money getting them slaves over here, man. So it was a big. It was slavery was profitable, man. And when you follow the money. The so-called Jew, they, they, they ain't the ones who prospered. That's yeah. why they took off David Duke, who brought out that book, the uh, hidden history between See, the black relationship secret relationship between, between, between the blacks and the Jews. He, he gave all the information to, yeah. to uh, the Nation of Israel, yeah. and then put that book together. He gave them all that information. Yeah. And they, 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 they're the ones who yeah. ran it. That's why they closed down the slave trade during the Jewish holidays. So if yeah. they did yeah. yeah. the Chinese, yeah. Yeah. get a new year or anything else. Yep. Yep. That's true. Henry Jew. Ford wrote the book, The International International Jew. International. The so-called Jews, he went to them for a loan, and the interest rate that they were trying to give him, he was like, hey, you know, I'm just straight up trying to take my company from him. Yeah. So to get back at him, he put that book out, The International Jew, and everybody that bought a, a, a Ford vehicle, the book was sitting right there in the glove compartment. Yeah. 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 Talk about all that. Interest rolls and taxes. And shit. This this uh came out today on on Bloomberg. Yep. Right. How generations of Black Americans lost their lands due to tax liens. Sales of repossessed assets has stripped thousands of families of their property, along with potential to increase wealth. And, and that happened even going into the 80s and the 90s. Mm -hmm. That was happening. It was this one lady. She was in her 90s, and I think she. She only had a few more months, I think, to pay to pay off the mortgage, you know, or whatever. And without she had no money, they took her. They took her property. Oh yeah, that was a big thing they were doing amongst Jake. And, and they put they set Jake up. That's why they used to bring it out as a mortgage note. 
Nope. A death note. Nope. You die not never uh, paying that off, man. Well, they had a term, too, called predatory lending. Yep. What they would yep. do is give Jake high-ass interest rates, know that they couldn't afford it, right. give it to them, let the banks foreclose, buy that same property back. On, yeah. On the same you know, yeah. They, they've been doing that for a yeah. long time to Jake. It's a, it's a system. It's a big game. All right, we've been telling you niggas that. No, no, it's not. No, it's okay. All Even right. if you have now with the sewer and water bill, if you can have right. a $2,000 lien on your property, if you can't pay it, and the house could be worth $2 million. If you can't pay that $2,000 lien, it becomes property of the state. Yeah. Yeah. And then somebody can swoop in and pay that $2,000 lien and get the property for two Gs and it's worth two million. And you, and you was, and supposedly, all, you know, all, supposedly all these taxes that you paid, all this, everything is hyped up taxes, right? With this inflation, superinflation, whatever you want to call it. So all this tax money, you think, well, wait a minute, all this tax money, why is the city, why am I paying so much? Why am I even paying for city water? Why am I paying to flush the toilet that's supposed to be in my house? You don't own shit. You don't own nothing. It's all a fucking game, man. It's a farce. It's a farce. I'll just read this last verse, and then whoever got the next one. It said, her adversaries are the chief, her enemies prosper. For the Lord hath afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions. That's it. Says her children are gone into captivity before the enemy. Not your friend. Yeah. Said before your enemy. That goes back to what? Deuteronomy 28. 68. That's what the Lord said. That's what the Lord said. He has polluted his inheritance. Come on, man. Gave us over to the heathen because he put us in captivity. And only how you can get out of captivity is going back to the Lord. He said, He said, Turn it back. Until we acknowledge our sins, then you gotta ask forgiveness in our Savior's name, Yahweh Shai. That's right, man. You know, you gotta be part of that elected chosen. And this didn't happen to you. Hook nose, man. Ice nose. Rats. Gonzo nose. Gonzo nose, man. Got four or five houses. Jake worried about paying for that one apartment. Yeah. They got houses all over the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Oh, yeah, he had the nose came to give away. He was a scumbag, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want to be a weirdo? Yeah, you yeah. want to be a weirdo? He's Oscar a weirdo. the Grouch, I think, what, right? He's a slumlord? No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, 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 he was a slumlord. <laughs> <laughs> so first Samuel 2 and 9. He will keep the feet of his saints. Talking about the heavenly mm -hmm. father. Or the saints, the Israelites. All right? It says, he will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. So that's the time for coming in right now. The Lord and the saints starts with who? The elect of Israel. Right. And the Esau and all his minions are going to be left in darkness. Gross dark. They're going to be groping. Because right now, the elites, they really believe they're going to come in with their new world order and things are going to go awry. It's not going to go according to their plans. The Lord is going to backfire. Okay. He's, setting, he's setting him up good. It says, the adversaries, and the word adversary means what? Enemy. The adversary of the Lord. So wait, the Lord has enemies. I thought the Lord loves everybody. He's fucking flies, man. Yeah, the, Lord, Lord, yeah, the, Lord, the Lord said you can have, you got <laughs> you know, war, like that uh, that 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 and and a war yeah, with yeah, Amalek from generation to generation. Damn it, so the so-called yeah, kites, yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. so-called Jews are the Lord's number one target. You know? That's right. Yep. Yeah, they're the leader of the pack when it comes to our adversaries. The Hasidic race. Pa they're a parasite. Yeah. And even their brethren, the other Edomites, know that. Yeah. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken into pieces. Mm. Mm. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. Mm. And, there goes, and there goes your chariots. Yeah. Yeah. There goes the Lord coming yeah. back with the innumerable amount of angels. That's a secret. That's a mystery, man. That's right. <laughs> and you're going to be broken in pieces. You ain't going to prevail with your bullshit. Yeah, that's why Isaiah 26, 21 said the Lord is coming out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for that's their right. wickedness, man. That's right. You're yeah. never going to get justice by nobody else. The Lord said no man shall save you or, or buy you. Or only how about Shemiah Yeah. And, and, the Lord, and that's what the Lord wants. Yep. All right? And it starts with the elect to turn back to him. That's right. Turn back to his son to get to him. All right? All right? Through Yahweh Shah, our Lord and Savior. And in doing that, you, you got more than one. Yeah, a lot more. <laughs> but you want to say something? No, go ahead, go ahead. It says, the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. Right, out of heaven, those chariots. 
That's why you keep seeing the, uh, the UFO sightings out of heaven. You're going to thunder them. You're going to send them lightning bolts down on you. Literally. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Literally. So they, they, they said that when they started first flying the planes, that those planes were getting hit with all kind of lightning. That's why they had to make make the planes to where they, they have, I think, lightning rods or whatever, so they could absorb lightning. They get hit with so much lightning. Right. But then you had the chariots that was there right from when they first started flying in, in the air. So they always see the chariots out there, man. Yeah. You know, they know it's like if you talk to a pilot, I bet you you're probably like, oh yeah, yeah, we see, I've seen one. You know, yeah. and and, now, and even more so now in this day and age because why? Most sides magnifying the sightings, man. They, they're making themselves known more and more. Because we're in that time, man. They made them, they made them sign contracts. And the contracts, you can't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't disclose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then this prophet, let me check this out. And then what we're reading here, I believe this is uh, Samuel's mother. The spirit that I don't heard just mentioned all these things of the Heavenly Father and what, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hannah. It says, the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken into pieces. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. He's going to give strength unto his king, David, and he's going to uh, exalt the horn of his anointed. That's what it said, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. exalt the horn of his anointed. Power. <laughs> power. He's going to give power. Spread that spiritual power. Like you said, you're going to give us that spiritual power, right? Superman. So it ain't just going to be, it, it, the, the, it's the most high is going to, is going to rain down on you, but he, they're going to, the Lord is going to equip us with that power to get at you. He's going to give us that power to get at you. Uh, what's that? Is, is, is that Isaiah, is it 40 and 31 or 41 and 31? They that wait upon the Lord? Is 40, is it 41? I think it's, it's 41 31 or 40 31. Which that goes into that. They that wait upon the Lord, the, uh, the brother's looking for it. They that wait upon is either Isaiah 40 31 or 41 31. Uh, 40, 40, 40, 40 31, I got it. Okay. You want it? Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31 <clears throat> says, But they that wait upon the Lord, the how about shall we shine? Patience. <laughs> right. Patience, like uh, Bishop Ayatun said. They that wait upon the Lord, in other words, be impatient. Waiting for with that wait upon the Lord, go ahead. Shall renew their strength. Shall renew their strength. See, we're gonna renew our strength. The Lord is gonna is gonna physically, He gonna physically renew us. Right? In these, in this, in this low, decrepit body, this terrestrial body, the Lord is basically He gonna make us extraterrestrial. Mm -hmm. See, we're still terrestrial. We still gonna uh, enjoy the pleasures of an earthly body, an earth man, Bonadama, but it's gonna be extra. We gonna, gonna be like we gonna do everything that Esau tried to do in the movies and days. So can't do. Esau right. tried to create a super soldier. Yeah. The Lord is gonna make us super soldiers. We gonna be the Excellent. super. We gonna be like the superman. Wait a minute. What was Superman's Excellent. name? Kal El. Kal El. All power. All power. That's the Israelites. That's given to the Israelites. We gonna be flying through space and appearing disappear. <laughs> Proof of it, Yahweh Shai did it. Remember when he uh, walked through the walls? Yep. Then he told the disciples, what? Why bother you at the things that I do? Yeah. But you should do far greater than these. Yeah, like Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai put his hand on them. Come on, man. Soldiers fly back. Yep. That's yeah. where, you the think the, where you think the Jedi movie gets that from. That's right. When you come up <coughs> to the Jedi, the Jedi put you on your ass. Oh. That goes back to the ultimate Jedi, Yahweh Shai. Uh, was that Malcolm? Up? The, the soldier? Yeah. Chef, put his, chop his, zero. Yeah. his hair back. Malchus, I think his name was. Malchus. 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 Yeah, Malchus. 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 Yeah, he put his ear back on after, yep. um, after Peter, Peter chopped, chopped it off. off. Yeah. That's power. Yeah, he walked yeah. on the water, multiplied bread. He yeah. he rebuked the storm. No, multiplied fish. Multiplied fish and, fish and, and, and loaves yeah. of bread. Fish and bread. And he, loaves of bread. He, 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 he rebuked yeah, yeah. the seas. He he rebuked storms. Raised the dead. Raised the dead. Yeah. No, he was raised. Himself was raised from the dead. Yeah. He transfigured himself. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning so, he morphed. Oh, he was gonna cry. He had to disappear. You know, mm -hmm. I think you read that earlier. You mentioned it. Yeah, he, had to, he had to disappear. Was, where do you think they get that for, uh, for? For the movie Superman Two, when um uh, played by Christopher Reeve, and you had General oh, Zod, God. Nump, and Ursula. They went to the Fortress of Solitude, and they was in Superman's home. <laughs> and then what did he do? He disappeared. 
he reappeared. Then he made multiple images of himself all over the place. Yep, and then he was that. disappearing out here. Yeah, that's what you. That, that is all the power of the Lord Yahweh Shah. I remember that nigga name. No. Yeah, he, he's the one who couldn't yeah, speak. Yeah, he's the yeah. big, big diesel one with the beard that couldn't speak. Yeah. 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 Hey, that that was one of my favorite movies. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You got. But they that wait upon the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah shall renew their strength. The Lord said, we, they that wait upon the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah renew their strength. Go ahead. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Mount up with wings as eagles. Are we actually going to have wings on our back? No, we're going to be able to fly. That means we're going to be able to fly. Literally. Literally. So you have a plane, you have a helicopter, jet fighter. No, they got them. You seen them off? They got their suits now. The Rocket Man. Yeah. Okay, Jet yeah. Man. Kind, of, kind, of, kind of like an Iron Man type. Like Iron Man. So yeah. We don't need it. See, but uh, we so are natural. Our, natural, our, natural, our natural, body, natural, our terrestrial right. body, is going to be able to through the air, through space, through space. <laughs> it's going to be a whole nother level. Yeah. It's going to be a whole, boy and in the water. <laughs> yeah. Water, space, yeah. going to Earth. Yeah. Just sit there chilling in the core of Earth with a brother having a drink. <laughs> Yeah. Not getting burnt by the fire or nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says, they shall run and not be weary. We shall run and not be weary. Hey, hey, again, referring back to the Superman movie, the first one, uh, when he was coming home from, from the football practice, he was actually the ball boy. And he was running with the train. The girl was out the window looking at him. And he looked at her and waved to her. And then he beat the train. Well, he, because he was racing them niggas that didn't want to give him a ride. Right, right, and right. They called him a nerd. Right. Yeah, yep. all the girlies in the car. Yep. And then you walk right, home. Girlies. Yeah, they told him and to walk he, home. And he beat them. He beat them there. Yeah, how the hell you got over there? How the hell did you get there? Yeah. yeah. So that, that's an example of what we're reading. Spiritual power. Yeah. The Lord is going to give us that spiritual power. Go ahead, Bishop God. And they shall walk and not faint. Right. We, and literally, we're not going to faint because we're going to be renewed in strength with vigor. That ancient world style vigor. Yeah, that's heavy, man, because you got Jake that are athletes and stuff. They be on the basketball, basketball court and all that. Then they be running, practicing, okay. and just dropping dead. Right. But you're going to worry, worry about that in the kingdom, man. We ain't going to never faint or drop. That's heavy, man. Yeah. Yeah. That Psalms 105? Psalms 103. Oh, it's 103 and 5. But you know, I'm going to start at the first verse if I may. Okay, okay. okay this is probably going to be one of my new favorite Psalms, too, man. <laughs> this Psalms is, is bad, man. This, boy, <laughs> this is Psalms 103, verse 1. It says, Slack, it, I thought you said you had a preacher. Uh, yeah, I'll wait till I see it. It was one verse, but I'll wait. You sure? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because it. It, it just came to my mind that you okay. said you had, I was waiting for you to it's, read what you had. It's Isaiah 41, verse 15. It says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. <laughs> a new sharp threshing <laughs> instrument having teeth. See, you. that's why you have a super soldier program. Mm -hmm. Well, the Most High has a super soldier program, okay? You trying to you trying to mimic or outdo everything that the Lord got set up for us. The hey, the Lord got a, a super uh, super soldier program, all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, Holy super soldier. It says, "Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, mm. and shalt make them." The mountains, hills. Wait, mountains being gov governments? Yeah. Maybe like it's going to be the, the mountain like Godzilla or one of them. Nah, no. we're going to be after Esau, man. Yeah, you know, you that's gonna take you down from the top. top from the top, we're gonna bring you yep. down. Mm -hmm. Straight, straight into slavery, uh, destruction, whippings, beat downs, everything, man. Yep. Everything. It says, uh, Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. That's right. Hey, that's that's right, man. That's, that's what's coming for you. The top the kingdoms, the yeah. lesser kingdoms, all of you. All of you are going. You're going to get stumped. You're going to get beat down. It's, kind of like, it's like that fear kind of break down. <laughs> you try to break down. What was you trying to break down? The image. To the lesser government, the middle government, the higher government. <laughs> you fucking fuck that breakdown up, man. And he, and he should know better because he watches us, man. But anyway, sound. This is us. Uh, I'm sorry. There's more. Okay, it's the book of Psalms 103, and I'll start the first verse. It said, "Bless the Lord." O oh, my soul, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Right. All right? The name of the Lord is holy. Remember that. Right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The name is holy. Bless the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, O oh, my soul, 
and forget not all his benefits. Mm-hmm. See, that's the problem, Jake. Forget the benefits, man. Right. right? Don't don't forget the benefits. This this truth alone is, is amazing. So this is the most the greatest thing to happen to us, man. The yeah. Lord has call us out of that darkness. So it said, if forget, forget not all his benefits. It said, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Look at that. He forgiveth all our iniquities, and he's going to heal all of our diseases. Everything that brings dis-ease to our bodies, the Lord is going to heal it. And, and what did Yahweh Shai say after he, when he healed people? Sin no more. Sin no more. <laughs> Which is what? The iniquities, man. So showing you that the reason why we're jacked up and we you know, got infirmities and stuff because we sinned against the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right? It's part of the curses. It's part of the curses because we fucked up. But now Yahweh Shai has power to forgive sins, which in other words make you whole as a physician that he is. He said he that is whole need not a physician. If he ain't sinning, if you're perfect and righteous, then you don't need me. Right? healing in his wings. That's the healing is, man. Healing in the wings. So it said, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction. He's going to redeem us. He's going to heal us. And then he's going to redeem us from destruction. That's it. So I'll give us angels charge over you. That's right. So it's some more there. Oh, it's a lot more. Mm -hmm. It said, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy thy mouth with good things. Mm -hmm. Which is what? This truth, this word, man. Right. This is the good. It's a good thing. This is the gospel. Good news. Good news. To know that there's another world that's coming after this. That's quickly coming mm -hmm. after this bullshit place is destroyed, man. And that the Lord, the Son of the Lord, is going to reign forever. It's never going to come a time where we're going to go through any of these other dark periods where we don't have the, the Most side with us, or we're not connected. The Son of Yahweh Shai is not going to be ruling. He's going to be ruling forever. Right. right, the wicked, the white man is never gonna come back into power. The, that's why the trees and everybody, the animals are gonna be happy yeah. because this devil is not gonna be able to pollute the trees or the earth or the ocean or water, nothing no more. Fish, fish. Fish. Um, as we know, Isaiah 14. No feller, no feller has since I have been laid down. No feller has come up against us. Right, and a feller is one who cuts down trees, yeah. who cuts down all the trees on the earth. And when, and when shit gets fucked up, you want to blame everybody. Well, we're right. going to tax you guys because, you know, the earth is fucked up. Right, right. And he's right. the one that did it. Yeah. Yeah, all the fucked up shit on the earth is done by the so-called white men. But what does he do? He blames it on you guys. Yeah. And then he says, we're going to tax your ass. And where's that tax money going? It ain't going to the earth. It's going right into the, right into, right into the hook nose's pocket. So who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Wait a minute. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. The youth, our youth is going to be renewed like the eagles. Like we read in Isaiah. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They That's shall right. mount up with eagles' wings. They shall run and not get tired. It says there that the youths are going to be renewed. But it said the Lord, Yahweh Shimei was shy, executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Which is who, 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 who is oppressed? The children of Israel. We're the ones that are oppressed. That's right. It yeah. said, he made, no, he made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Not everybody, not the whole world. That's right. The pro, so the prophets were all Israelites. He said his acts. All right, who wrote down, who, who recorded uh, the history of the Bible, the history of the creation of the Mosai, which is the earth and everything created therein? The Israelites, Moses and the rest of the Israelites, right? Go ahead. All right, so I, just, so I looked this up because it says renew like you like an eagle. Yep. yep. Now check this out, right? Yeah, okay. It says, um, how is the eagle's youth renewed? There the eagle hit the eagle hits its beak against the rock until it's, it breaks its beak. Then he waits for his new beak to grow. Then he pulls his claws with his beak, when his cl new claws grow, he plucks his old feathers. After five months, the eagle recovers and can live another 40 years. So I was talking to Bishop I bought. I said, mm -hmm. what I get from that is when we renew this strength, meaning we're going to shed these bodies. Mm -hmm. We're going to have new bodies. Oh, so yeah. That's basically what the eagle is doing. Yeah, yeah, that's heavy. Yeah, go, yep, Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter. Yep. Oh, yeah. New body. That's why you got Jake all vain in today. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, you're supposed to work out in one, but you got Jake getting all into it and shit like that. You vain, man. 
You're going to die over something that's going to die anyway, man. You know, you got niggas that's all in the gym, power lifters, walking around, you know, you know, all vain and shit, thinking that they the hottest shit. They looking, the like, looking like Mighty Mouse. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, look, Mighty Mouse. Overgrown. And, and the thing is, you're going to die, man. And, and these bodies are going to die. Even our bodies are going to die. You know, that's why we're just holding on for the... For the duration, and we're just trying to make it to that point until when Yahweh Shai get here. Because every last one of us, from the apostles on down to you new brothers, young brothers are coming in here with ailments and, you know, all jacked up and everything. But then again, the scriptures tell you this is the condition of the battle. All right? It wouldn't be a battle if it was easy. You know, we was perfectly fine and in shape. So, yeah, we just like the eagle sheds his, his old body. All right? We're going to renew our strength like a, like a young e eagle, man. All right? Because we weren't meant to be all old and decrepit, needing canes and wheelchairs and all that. that. That's not living. But that's part of the curses that came upon us. The Lord now is about to take those curses off of us. All right? So now it said, uh, oh, I'm sorry, was it more? No, that's it. All right, so it said, the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. So the Most High been have, having mercy. You quoted it earlier. Why we're not consumed through the, the mercies of the Lord. Because if not, we'd have been finished, man. Yep. But the majority of our people are going to die because why? They love this wicked world, man. All right? They don't believe in the Heavenly Father. They believe in the so-called white man and every, all these wicked churches out here. So they're going to die. Because they're not going to wake up and repent and come back to the more, the truth. All right? So they're going to die. Their family going to die. Only people going to make it is the elect of Israel. That's right. All right? That's the bottom line, which we hope. We hoping like hell that we're a part of it, man. You know, yeah, it, it, all the bugs is coming out, right? But it said, uh, get the bug out. Uh, this is, uh, two more verses. Three more verses. He said, he will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our, our iniquity. As King David said, Lord, if thou would have marked iniquity, who should stand before thee? But there's none, none perfect. Everybody sinned. Yahweh Shai is the only person that walked on this earth as Yahweh Shai who hasn't who have sinned as Yahweh Shai. Right. Only person. That's why he was found worthy to loosen the seals. Going back in Revelations, was the fifth chapter? It says, For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. That's the key. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Yep. You see? So that's the main thing. We got to make sure that we fear the Lord, man. That's right. I don't know. You fear brother, the Lord yeah. at the beginning of knowledge. Yeah. That's true. That's the beginning of knowledge. Any brother got any other points or precepts? It's on, on y'all. If not, then you know, we'll wrap it up. Let the bugs have this place. <laughs> the bug out. You know, but I'm able. Lord willing, hope you brothers will, will, will edify. As always, we give all glory and honor to Yahweh. All right, again, double honor to the apostles, the elders, the Akim. Shalom, Lord, sincere Akim. Yahweh, my brother,